Yum, 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 yum. Tea. Jasmine, I got tea named after you. Yes, that's how it works. <laughs> that is exactly how it works. It's cat life. Hi, little fuzz face. <laughs> <laughs> Jasmine is being Jasmine right now. Jasmine can always be Jasmine. Yeah. All right. So we'll get into that in a moment. Let's do this then. Let's go ahead and get started here. Okay, Jasmine, I am wearing shorts. Please be, please be merciful. What are you talking about? She never does anything to anybody. <laughs> yeah, okay, James. James revealing his stab wounds. Dude, was it one, two, Those three, are all four, your, five, six, your, seven, eight, nine, your ten, love marks. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's 16. at least two per front, front paw. Yeah, I have at least two dozen little scars, little poked hole scars <laughs> on my leg right now. Mm -hmm. It's not pleasant. She's like using both of us. She's uh -huh. half on you and half on me That's for balance. You're silly. Maximum nice. comfort abuse. She is. She really is. She's uh, just using us for her gain, as cats do. That is what cats do. That Hello, everybody. Welcome do. to Synchronize <laughs> here on the Chenzor Dynasty. And you can see already Jasmine being like, uh, all the attention is mine. <laughs> This yes. is, uh, synchronize is about cat, right? Synchronize you talked about, is about me. I heard you guys talking about cat, and that's obviously oh, yeah, me. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Right? So there you Can go. Can I know I'm your ear, like, cool look cat does to cat? Oh, man, we should totally just Can give her a little red ear? glove. She needs shades and a red glove. Do you want to cosplay cat? She would be so mad. Do you want Actually, to? Actually, Nathan might be the I don't know. She hates a lot of things. Like, you know, I've been wanting to take her outside to the grass, so I keep trying to put the collar around her just so the, the thing, the, the harness around her, mm -hmm. I can't get it on her right oh, no. now dude, unless I force it, so. Now I'm just imagining Nathan cosplaying Maxima Cat. <laughs> With the chops. With the chops. Little brown chops. Oh, oh my god. Man. Do you want to cosplay? We can make that happen. You can make Jasmine. If you can, look, I'm just going to say this. Sink, sink. S Catronize. Synchronize. Uh, Don't tempt me. Synchronize. If you can actually... <gasps> oh, Synchronize. 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 Um, if you can get Jasmine into <laughs> costumes... I'm sorry, she's licking my thigh. <laughs> no, well, that's no, I'm I'm, I wasn't going to be the one to say it. All right. <laughs> Okay. Come here, you. Oh. If you can I... get Jasmine into a costume, you are a hundred percent welcome to do so. I will try. That sounds like but challenge now I accepted. I want Maxima, Nathan, Cat. Yeah. Uh, I just want it all. If you can do Pass it, me. then then you have absolute power and uh, and uh, yes permission to do so. <laughs> No, every silhouette is Botan. Every silhouette's obviously Botan. It's Botan. <laughs> so your thing is like, I was gonna sit here and actually no, avoid it. No, every silhouette is Ash, apparently. I was seriously gonna avoid feed. the Botan joke, and then I was like, you know, it's gonna be the one time it's actually Botan. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, let's see. So that no matter what, I'm wrong. Yes. Be perfect. Uh, let me do this really quick. Boom, we're up there, and Yay. then I get to do we're everywhere. this. Don't it's don't not refreshing. Refresh so I gotta refresh yet. it. Oh, James. Refresh. Is that, Ooh, two, yeah. is that two or three in a row? No, that's all. It's not in a row. It's just. He's gotten oh, one okay. of them right. It's okay. just because uh, I guess XSplit Cache is the image. Oh. So I always replace it and, and erase the original one. Mm. And so I just have to refresh it. So there you go. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> that actually is true. Athena's new design. Yeah. No, yeah. like this one actually, like overall, is definitely one of the hardest ones. I, I I don't know. I saw it, and the first thing I thought was whip. Yeah. No. I, I if I, I'm leaning towards whip, like that's actually the one I th I'm most convinced on. Uh -huh. Especially when you think like, what if they do what they've been doing, like trimming out bangs and that. If, all right. you have to do is trim out the string where her whip would be, and she's holding it taut yeah, like this. Exactly. But I wonder so if they do. So I used to have Johnny far. and and yeah, Soul in fall? front. Of, no. Nathan jumped on the TV, pushed the box, and knocked Nathan. them off. I mean, so they fell. Yeah, yeah, they fell. Just not the not by death, falling, falling. Death by cat. You yeah. have no idea how many figures have broken of mine. Old thirty-year-old cherished. Her figures. name was Najid, and Thanks. that would be super fucking cool if it was Najid. I'm, I'm <laughs> hoping for Najid. 
because if you guys don't already know, I love Najid. I love cosplaying Najid. She is very, very important for POC people like me to have some representation. Mm -hmm. So I am happy, and for her being um, oh, created right. by <laughs> created by manga productions. Was it a contest like Tekken? It was a contest. It Something was like a contest. That, yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. So and and Najid to be birthed out of that is a big deal to me. So I would just be thrilled if they, you know, yeah. shook hands and said, "Hey, we want her back in." Yeah. And everyone. And that's why we like, got those like cool. that special uh, clear file and button yes. ever because yeah. those were like now, one event ever. I will say one thing though: you could definitely tell that as the weeks go by, their intentional sloppiness on the silhouettes is increasing more and more. <laughs> I don't know if intentional it's, sloppiness. I don't know if it's uh, sloppiness, but it's they disguising. are definitely yes, they are definitely messing right, with exactly. us. Right, exactly. Yeah. Well, that's what I. I mean, I'm calling it intentional sloppiness because that's how I would mask it. Just be He's like, like eh, eh, you know, oh my god, good. you say it's a pirate who lost the hook and now. I can't unsee it. Thank you. Yar. That's a good one. It's Luke Skywalker, man. Oh, bro. <laughs> Too soon. Ah. Yeah. Um, I do like, though, so speaking of it, it does look like a Mary pose, especially when uh, Ichika actually shared one of her cosplay photos in almost exactly the same pose. Oh, really? And it's like, that's a pretty convincing argument. Yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, it's it's either going to be Whip or Mary, in my opinion. But it looks like Whip to me because the head is a lot, th I don't know, like the thinness of it, I guess? The it's, height it's of the, it? It's the bob shape. Yeah. Right. The, bo the traditional bob shape haircut that many of the girls have. And you could almost think that the way that elbow, if it is an elbow, is bent that in front of her chest is the whip right exactly up that's what it looks like to me that she's doing this but right? on the other side that hand that's all the way in the front does feel like a hand with a glove and a blue mary jacket yeah so yeah but the thing is like also if it's a jacket that means that she's about this big around <laughs> no, that's not true. Like, I it's just think the that the, the whip isn't there. I think they yeah. cut out the line uh, between the hand and the torso, mm -hmm. basically. I think yeah. that there's actually... The, that's that's the shenanigan I think is going so on So I'm, I'm doing this more often on my streams now, just letting you know. But yes, uh, Sleepy Tofu 86 uh, if you type that correctly in here, let me do this for... That's the long chat. Let me do Bruh. this for you over here. <laughs> That's 86. I'm wearing an 86 shirt right now. This is brand new. This is a King of Fighters Woo! shirt. I Yay! did. I'm not King of Fighters shirt. King of the Iron King Fist. King of the Iron Fist shirt. King. Two kings. I did actually ask them uh, if they if were they planning to do SNK stuff. If they were planning to try to do it. And they were like, yeah, we definitely would love to work with them. So. You know, I'll have to try to. So hook keep them up your eyes peeled. I have to try to hook them up with KK or something like that. Yeah, get, to get the get the, get the networking and the phone yeah. numbers, yeah. the phone numbers. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Ah, actually, that's a good Kukri. point. It could be Kukri. Uh, it's a little thin for him, right, but he's also say, but Kukri yeah. actually is pretty thin. Yeah, I mean, it, it's not unreasonable. I think the thing is, I actually think the hood is uh, is not pronounced enough. I think it cuts in too deep for it to actually be Kukri's hood. Right, and that's kind of how I feel about Najid as well. I feel like the body is too thin. Like I feel like it would be. I mean, she might have gotten updated too. Like because because without the yeah. scarf and the collar. Exactly, right. and but, the scarf, uh, it does kind of calm the collar down. So, but the collar is still pretty. The collar enormous. is still pretty big, yeah. and it depends on like if it's more of a front shot than a side shot. So, as much as I would cool. like, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Najid has this like giant popped collar that would make the yeah. fawns right. Bad. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, she has the big, yeah. the big collars there. But and unless it's, it's still like hoping, in the front, like that's if it's what I'm like saying. Is as this a front way, view, right. it's very angled when they draw right. it sometimes. So I'm wondering if that's the case, or maybe it's a redesign and they made it smaller. Yeah, I don't know anymore. I mean, like I said, I just feel like it's whip. I mm -hmm. want to say that I've been pretty spot on, except for my. Uh, Jar Jar and my Woody and Buzz. Yeah, uh, guesses. But, but I mean, those were really good guesses. Yeah, uh -huh, like, like I can see where you're coming from. Right. <laughs> but the question is, I mean, you had mentioned this early. Uh, was it last week or was it just in a casual conversation? But you would really like to see like some mechanics trailers and stuff yeah. like that, right? Yeah, I'm. I'm at the point now where it's like. 
I mean, like, I, there's a lot of cool roster stuff left to go, obviously, mm-hmm. but now, like, we're at the point where the questions are driving us all nuts. Yes. Right, but that's a good question. Yes, it's Duck King with his mohawk if it down is, perfect. Yes. If it is Whip, is she the last person on the women's team, then? It's not impossible, but she could also be the start of the K-Dash team, right. which would then throw Kula or Maxima out oh, of it. Right, exactly. That's the kind of uh, tricky part right there, because mm-hmm. K-Dash, Kula, and Maxima have been together every single time, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, not necessarily K Dash, Kula, Maxima, but K Dash and Maxima have been un- inseparable. Right. Um, O3 didn't have Kula. Right. Who's the, I mean, this is not our artist spotlight, but who is the artist out there who basically throws um, the sports team into every silhouette? I mean, there's every a couple there's of them. I know now last week was Torrance, yeah. uh, Torrance Bell. Yeah. Was uh, he was the one who did it the the full team crying last week? I don't right, know if he's the one who did right, the, right, no. there the was most a, recent one. There's a psych, it's like his name was like Taka something or other. I think it is. Uh, oh, someone someone put down an ash potentially as well. Wow, guess, that's actually not a bad one. That's, yeah, that's actually, that's actually really good. Yeah. I just love the question over. The, I don't get the hand. Don't worry about right, it. Right. <laughs> This is this was the Ash one that I just that's, saw. That's a, that's, that's a good one. That's not bad at all. I really actually. like the skill it's, into it, it too. It seems like the elbow the coloring is, is like yeah. the hand would be here, but no, yeah, it's good a, on the coloring and everything. That's actually clever. Oh, I think it is the Street Fighter Five producer Taka Nak- Nakayama. Yeah, I think it is him, the one who keeps doing it, uh, who keeps like drawing the. Uh, that's Dude, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I just saw one of them in there is asking for, for hoping for this to be Adelheid. I'm, uh-huh. I'm gonna be honest. I'd be mad because that makes Adelheid really tiny and changed his hair. Right. What is what is Takayama's? Uh... And with all the dudes getting jacked, awesomely beefier. Yeah. There yes. I'm, I'm prepared for Hulk Adelheid. Let's go. Mm. So let's see. Yeah. So here's all three of the ones that he yes. created. <laughs> yeah, like, no, they, the they don't even fit, but like I love how Making hard he fit. tries, you know. Oh, those are the best. Like Brian Badler, yeah. and here's uh, him doing some crazy some flip kind kick. of like front flip kick. And then uh, him coming at you. With That's, his my, favorite. That's, That's my favorite. That's my favorite so far. <laughs> oh, it's really, really good. But the crazy thing is, yeah, Adelhoek Beefstein. Yes, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember anyone being this fanatical about the sports team being in the game. Like, even 14, it wasn't like this, right? It's honestly him and you. Yeah. That want the sports team the most on well, Twitter. Well, D- Dino That's please as well. Oh, yeah. Dino please. Dino, yes, like, Dino yes, Brian in yes, every yeah, single one. Yeah, he does the one. rotating yes, yes. Brian in every, <laughs> every single one. <laughs> and always I can just... How that image is in my brain. Every yeah. Time. yeah, there he is right there. Uh-huh. There you go. So and then there's the one guy it who does bow so every much. single time. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, this morphs bow to fit the silhouette every time. It's so it's creepy. So, there's, the, there's the Dino, please. He does this, obviously, it's Brian Badler, and he does this every week. Oh Dude, my it's, god, it's too Yeah, nice. but I, I feel like the sports team memes are, like, quadruple what they've ever been before. Yeah, it's just, it's time, I feel like. And, you know, I yeah, feel it's, like... It's only been, like, what, 20-something years? Or plus something, the like, other thing, too, is when you say, shatter all expectations, that's basically saying sports team. Yeah. In my opinion. <laughs> That, you know what would be the sickest thing is if they just saved him for last and okay. revealed him at the very end. No, so this last one, though, is worth talking about. Yeah. Holy yes. fucking shit if they brought back Mei Li. The, just, like, the world would implode. Which one was I mean, Mei minus again? the goggles, but you would think the goggles would I mean, would she can get her outline. design updated. Or they could be just more in front over her bangs in front of her. Yeah, head. I'm not. I'm not completely convinced it's Mary. It's fucking that bow. It's bow. <laughs> it's bow. It's bow. I like it because the hat is so big. Um, I really don't think oh, it's I Vanessa it. though, because Vanessa's hair got so much wavier in mm-hmm. 14, like more than ever. Yeah, she does not have a smooth haircut anymore. She's got like the razor cut look going on. So I mean. These silhouettes are such a great idea because they, oh, that was the old one. That, one. that was the old I one. I forgot yeah, about that yeah. one. That was an old one. Oh, no, the, the, the crazy it. thing about um, 
you know, these silhouettes is they really are producing a lot of this interaction. Yeah. It's kind of genius. Because remember, is. they never used to do the silhouettes at first, and then they just started they, all so of a sudden. So they, they did it with the uh, KOF 14 DLC as yeah. a group shot. Yeah. And, uh, like, yeah, that's about uh, it. And I remember everybody was trying to decipher that one, and that was well, really those, those, fun. Well, those, I mean, so. mostly those were actually not that hard. Well, right. still. Like, there was, like, it was, like, like three out of four were free. Right. But, like I said, I feel like it's 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 where a lot of the intentional sloppiness mm -hmm. is coming from now. I feel like that they're trying to get a little cuter with the whole thing, you know what yeah. I mean? So. And I think it's, it's great, too, because, like, it's mm -hmm. building a lot more like publicity but in like a very organic way it's like yeah. you can yep. kind of gauge how many people actually want to talk about this how many are getting into it getting involved right and just the the funny interpretations i think are like oh, yeah. the best part about it it's just because not only are there a lot of funny interpretations but the quality of these goofy interpretations are actually bizarrely good you yeah. know i mean i'm still a shit fucking artist and i'm still happy about my tease off last week <laughs> <laughs> was a good one. Oh, man. All right. And once but, again, I mean, we've got half an hour, but uh, if it comes out, if it comes out, please link me in the yes. chat right away. Please, oh, we appreciate So with that in mind also, apparently at some point yesterday, Blue Mary was trending because that's what people thought the silhouette was, uh, which I mean, that's cool. First time for everything. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but also shout outs to the entire freaking community because the amount of sick Leona fan art that has come since her trailer. Like, it's just been this oh, constant right. yeah, yeah, flow yeah, yeah, yeah. of sweet Leona mm -hmm. fan art for the past two weeks. I mean, I've been enjoying that. Could it be mainly? I mean, the There is no fucking way it's Freeman. I mean, the, <laughs> <laughs> no. the, 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 the glasses, I think, are what's throwing that off because it should have That's the That's what I was saying. Top, her goggles right? would yeah. have more of a silhouette unless they were pulled more in front. Yeah, let her, her let, her, let her wear them, like, around her neck or something right, or just drop exactly. them entirely. But I don't see that as a sky. That's definitely an arm with the, yeah. with the fist pointed mm -hmm. forward like this. You know, yeah. that's why it's Which, And that's like part that. of the reason I'm convinced it's whip. Right. It's just like that foreshortening angle and just exactly. holding the actual Yeah, whip. I mean, that's the thing is the hand positions are perfect for a whip. And yeah. I don't think they want to put the line in there because then... Yes, that gives it's a dead giveaway. Yeah, it's, it's a, a dead, dead giveaway, giveaway that it would be Botan. Yeah. Right? Precisely. So. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, yeah, and I'm pretty convinced it's Whip. As much as I'm looking forward to Mary, I think Mary's also going to be a ways off first. Because right. we already still know K-Dash exists. Mm -hmm. And Whip can easily go into K-Dash's team or could kind of wrap up the female fighters team. Now, Wouldn't be the worst thing. What's the situation with Whip now again? She's someone's older sister? K-Dash's. She's K-Dash's older sister. And, and even that's not 100% accurate. But right, yes. but dead clone of dead older sister. There you go. And then Cool is not actually related to K-Dash, nope, they just right? kind of adopted her. Okay, okay. I mean, they hated each other at first, and now they're like BFFs. Well, and it was only because Cool was programmed to hate K-Dash, and exactly. K-Dash just hates things that annoy him. And then, like, ten minutes later, K-Dash is like, you know, you're just getting fucked over like I am. Let's just be friends and overthrow the nests. <laughs> K. Okay. Cool yeah. is an inverse clone? Sort of, kind of, ish, maybe? Dude, there's no way this is Elizabeth. She, she needs the hair point. Mm. Absolutely needs the hair point. And you would see some kind of sword handle. The, the riding crop. It, yeah. What relationship? Just that she's a girl, right? right. I mean, yeah. that's just all it they're, is. They're so. all stuck together. The end. So, so you're the cool one. You're the funny one. You're the girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, yeah. Uh, did you just meow at me? I oh. heard that. I don't think that's... Oh, he likes Johnny, too. Oh. Oh, okay. oh so you just have a vendetta I against guess. Guilty Gear. Yeah, he's just like, you know Did what? Did you not like the beta? I mean, I'm not going to blame you. You're knocking <laughs> them down like, you know. Oh, Nathan. Sweet baby. I think it's just because they probably have a certain smell to it. I mean, that ash art was pretty yeah. accurate. Yeah. Do they so. smell I, like I'm definitely, I, I'm definitely not, like, calling... Ash out of the running mm -hmm. by any means. Mm -hmm. Honestly, the trickiest part is like you look at the shoulder depth and then you look at like kind of where the the back starts under mm -hmm. the other sleeve and it makes that torso really hard to figure out. Right. Mm -hmm. No, we were we were talking about Najid earlier and I, yeah. I just don't think it would be Najid just because I feel like the coat should be bigger and thicker kind of thing. So Moe would be a 
big what the hell. <laughs> I, I wouldn't complain. I like Moe and all, but like that would be that would be the biggest what the fuck moment so far. Yeah. The uh, I mean, honestly, I feel like. Right now, I kept thinking it was going to be Whip, but now I feel like there's a chance it could be Ash. Uh, I don't it's a compelling think, argument. I don't think this is Mary. I don't think this is Mary. There's something about it that doesn't feel very Mary to me. There's something about it not being Mary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But there is something about Mary. Yeah, but it's not... A, well, anyways, yeah. Yeah, uh, we, we're all on the same page on that one. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I think... Uh, yeah, I agree. I don't think it's Blue Mary, but to me, it's just the arm position feels like it's it's holding the whip in front of her, basically. Yeah, and I think if it's Ash, I think it's going to be a little more fabulous. Yeah. Uh, like, definitely going to have, like, the hand up and like, the flames. <laughs> and... Well, first of all, Ash's hair has two layers to it, and I don't know why y'all aren't paying attention to hair. You guys probably should. Your girlfriends would probably be happier about it. But Ash has... Is, you're coming off pretty condescending. No, like, it's like, <laughs> like you, come on. you all need to understand he has the extra beehive yeah, guffaw no, in the uh, back. It's that is, not that is just literally one the solid thing that, orb. That it's has one, literally two. been the thing James has pointed out about every other character. Right. And that is why I appreciate <laughs> I James talking with us. But is, everybody else who constantly says, it's Ash, see, that's it's the thing. Ash, this is Ash, actually within Ash. range. This is right. in range. It would definitely... I well, know they would put is, a bump into it. This is why, for me... Yes, it's his signature thing. It's, it's Ash's signature before. Right. This is why, for me, it, I Green feel like it likely hair. is Whip. Because <laughs> it, it fits Whip's hair the most, too. Exactly. I mean, we've got Mary here. I mean, Cooler with a haircut. Is there, <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, that was funny. Yeah, yeah actually, see. not even that one. The, the one to the left of that is a really I good mean, selling point. I mean, both of them. Point. Both yeah. of them. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah. it's that sleek, like, sleek bob cut, and yeah. that's what I'm trying to say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. The no. only thing right now that's missing is the triangular shoulder pads. like. But, but again, but, she's at an angle. Right, the way that she's this, turned makes If this it, is a girl, they are definitely at an angle, so you right. wouldn't really see that right away. Yeah, exactly. But I haven't seen anyone trying to just so Vanessa, I guess they threw. Yeah, oh, it's Angel, Angel. That sorry. one's Angel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, both of them have been mentioned. But uh, Adel High, there's yeah. the. Ash I mean, I'm again. all for Adel Hunk stuff. It's so funny that more people will draw the troll versions oh, yeah. of the silhouettes than they'll actually draw the actual one. I mean, what about the idea that it is Mary? I mean, not Mary, uh, Angel. Sorry, you're getting that character dyslexia yeah, today. Yeah, dude, it's the names thing. So. Yeah. It's not outside the realm of possibility as well, but I just, I don't feel like the jacket is quite obvious enough. Unless that she got a new jacket, because people are definitely getting new fashion upgrades, and this is what opens up so many more possibilities right. for our guesses. Yeah. Um, it, yeah, it's not outside the realm of possibility, but I also think that uh, Angel kind of has, like, the highest bob cut. Mm-hmm. Like, it actually, like, floofs and stays like she's gonna talk to your manager kind of thing <laughs> so oh man I mean I feel like really honestly at this point it's Whip maybe Ash maybe Angel maybe Mary yeah, of, of the established characters I'm pretty sold on it yeah. just being Whip yeah um, cause for me like I said it's the it's the hand position that mm-hmm. sells me on it the most yeah. to be honest I mean, here's the thing: is if it's anything like a guest or a new character, there is absolutely no freaking way we would ever guess that. Right. So it's like we have to guess on what we know yeah. is a chance or we know is likely. Anything else, then we're just guessing for no freaking reason. We're just talking out of our butts. Jesus, Karen of Fighters, do not even start me on making an indie game because I will. <laughs> oh, oh my man. God, that's too damn good. So, um, James, if you could do me a favor and mm-hmm. post that picture of that certain child I yeah, asked the, you Yes, the to. most recent thing we sent you. Yeah. Oh, that thing. That okay, thing. Okay. I mean, so. are we going to be talking about, like, K-pop on stream now? <laughs> Bro! At a time? Oh, or shit. The shots are fired today. Is that K-O-F, K-pop of, you know, fans? I mean, K-O-F is popular in Korea. King, yeah, King of fans? King of Fanners. There you go. Look at this precious little bean today. Look at this Orochi bean, you guys. If you guys do not know who this is, it is our precious bean child, Cory Bell. My little brother. My little brother. His little brother. I so, can make it on my own. <laughs> so, I just want to say, 
from us at Synchronize. Happy birthday, Happy bro. birthday. Happy birthday, Freddy. Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Corey. We're going to be making BTS jokes from now on forever. Because it's just the way it goes, man. James has been on fire with the yeah. BTS jokes today. So, like an absolute Sorry. villain. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> They've been great. Yes, if, if if you know Corey, wish him a happy birthday on Twitter or in the chat, because it'd be his birthday today. So that's all. Yay. All right. You can go back to the silhouette now. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, there we go. <sighs> yeah, I just feel like they're edited the whip out of yeah. here, basically. No, 100%. And it's just, she's holding the whip, and the whip is kind of probably tri <laughs> dripping down over there. Yeah. Oh, God, Corey BTS fell. Have yep. you put that on Twitter yet? Because oh yeah, so so Corey, you weren't here for that. Like when I said uh, Bell Tech and Shimmy. Yeah. <laughs> Bell Tech and Shimmy. But even Corey's on it. He's like, yeah, it's just the whip. It doesn't have a silhouette. Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. yeah, he knows you're, what's up. You're welcome, little brother. We no, love boy, you. Uh, we love you. We do. Yo, K-pop stand team with Jun Hoon. Uh, let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> let's I go. mean, wouldn't you have to do that? And then, I mean, technically she's J-pop, but you could put, uh, um, God, why can't I remember her name anymore? Uh, Sylvie? Sylvie, yeah. Well, the thing is that June is a huge Athena stan. Oh, okay, okay. Dude, you could have Athena, Sylvie, and... Something. Another singer and just have the singer team, right? Maybe Yashiro? Is I mean, Yashiro the singer of the band? No. No, it's no. it's uh, Shermie. Shermie is the singer of the Yeah, band. so I'm kind of okay. hoping that, like, if they all somehow made it back into this game, that there's going to be a special ending for the female vocalists. <laughs> like, you just build a female vocalist team. Yeah, by the way, this is Olaf Redland and Kitty Kaboom, yep. so... But you can also follow us, and that actually reminds me, I always forget to do this. <laughs> you can follow us on Synchronize as well. Actually, no, you're right. Chris Is Chris the singer? I thought, no, I can't remember. No, Chris, I didn't Chris is the singer. You're yeah, right. Uh, That's right. Because Shermie's Sher Sher on the keyboard. Yeah. Mm. I have it backwards. Okay. Okay. There you go. So Chris is the singer. I totally want to get one of those '80s like keyboard guitars for my Shermie cosplay. I think it's just a, be a valid. keytar. Yes, a keytar. I, I definitely face. want a keytar for my cosplays. Oh my Nathan, you are so taking you advantage of this. Do you see I his see face? it. I see it. How can I not? He oh, Nathan. looks so happy right now. Oh, baby boy. boy. Oh, baby boy. I've spoiled him so much since he's gotten back, I swear. Yeah, I know. Yeah. He's taking advantage of it. Full yeah. advantage. You can seriously play Donkey Konga with him at this rate. Yeah. I know. Uh, no, I, I call him Bongo Cat sometimes mm. on stream, and I'm like... So, so yeah. you're playing mariachi songs? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Tito Puente style here. <laughs> Wounds won't last long, team, team but Mexico. an insulting song. Oh my God. <laughs> Don't get him started. Don't get him started. Carry with him. Oh my goodness. So oh ridiculous. Man. Oh, Nathan. Yeah, I always wish, like, I like the idea that, that, like, at least the band they're in is the music they're playing. Like, it's not that Iori is actually playing the saxophone his own theme, but I always like to think that he's at least, like, his band is kind of playing mm -hmm. it or something. Who is supposed to be in his band? No idea. They, they're not named? No. Like, that seems odd. Like, I feel like that seems like a bit of lore that they would have at least just had his band, right? Maybe he just named. gets, like, bands to jam with him. He just pays like yeah. whoever. Lo he's just he's just like it's Iori. Yeah, freeform jazz. Maybe it's actually Iori. maybe it's actually Kyo so. and Chizuru are his band members, and they're just <laughs> called the Sacred Treasures, right? I mean, I think that would be sick. No, as a band. It's, it's more like just the entire plot of the movie Soul, where it's like running around from gig to gig, joining <laughs> different jazz groups. Right, groups. right, exactly. But I would love it if it actually turned out the Sacred Treasures were actually just instruments that they've been trying to play. Yeah, and it's this whole thing. It's like the entire thing is really just uh, like in band feud. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Like just J-pop drama. band is full of Kyo clones. I'll, take, <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. They're all just different different years of KOF Kyo's. Because the thing just is, if perfect. you think about it, it makes sense. Because Yashiro, they're pop, they have the Orochi blood and he's mm -hmm. a rival band as yeah, well. perfect. Mm -hmm. Athena is a pop star. So I think that this is how it all works, mm -hmm. right? Of course. The Akari yes. Warriors actually is just the name of the band, mm. you know. And so I we just need a, we need a, a new SMK rhythm game, and it's just the king of the battle of the bands. <laughs> Dude, that would be so sick. As long as they make a pata pata version, I'm set. Oh yeah, the KOF band pictures were adorable. Yeah, those were cute. Oh man, Team, Team Funky, Funky Fury. Fury. <laughs> 
I'm here for it. Why does that work? <laughs> That's actually good. That's actually really, really good. Uh, man, <laughs> now I'm just getting sad, though, because now I miss Rhythm of Fighters. Yeah, that was a mobile game, right? Yeah. And, and I'm then... so sad my phone at the time would not support it, because... Mike was always playing it, and I really wanted to play it. I wish that was there. You game. go. Oh, this is the band, the band yes. of fighters right here. Yes. Nakaruru is on the keyboard here, which I think is the only thing that you bothers know, me about that is that she should be playing uh, some sort of flute. Yeah, or like a uh, koto or something yeah. like that. Shami no, she said. she plays the triangle. She needs to play the triangle. The tri No, that would be the Charlotte, triangle. right? Because that's her fireball. I respect that. Okay, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Inside joke, I'm going to start carrying one when I'm Charlotte. And then you're going to hit it with a sword? Yeah. Ding. Or a rose? Ding. Oh, oh man. Yeah. What did she say when she throws it? I, was like, I don't bloody remember. <laughs> but I'm a nation. I don't know. That's, that's the... Uh, all of her move names are so weird. The thing uh, is they like, don't sound anything like what she actually mm -hmm. says. Um, Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Time to ruin oh, the... You two better not fight. You two better not fight. Dude, it's one time I just turned around and Nathan was just straight on, like, freaking Come Undertaker, you know, tackling Come Jasmine. Come on. Try slash. Come on. Try slash. Hi. Hi. <laughs> he has hot dog bun for life. He has hot dog buns forever. It's actually, like, the worst part about it, Leona's whole trailer is you actually can understand that she's saying heart attack. <laughs> I thought this was a Terry reference again with yeah. hot dogs. So, yeah. no. so <laughs> even though That's you saw, thing. even though you saw him eating a hot dog today, yeah. perfect. I, still I mean, he's a real hot dog. I don't know, like if there's more to it than just that. That created this. It, <laughs> he's freaking out because he got stuck on the headset. Oh, Nathan! Uh, and now Jasmine's being a dummy. Yes. Yeah. They, they like doing that. As long as you two don't knock down the camera again or get tangled yeah. in the cords, it's all good. It's funny because what a lot of people don't see is my, the setup that I have. Um, because Nathan, because the camera's over there on the TV, when the cats jump on the table, you'll actually see this camera view shake every uh. once in a while. And uh, if anybody's ever wondering why that happens... So. California just has that many earthquakes. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. Honestly, if there was an earthquake while we were streaming, you would know because I would freak the fuck out. Yeah, but I mean... And I would not react at all. I would be surprised because, I mean, he's not that good anymore, right? I mean... He was never that good. Right. So, I mean, I feel like it, we would definitely have a lot more, like, Yashimaru's and Jubei's on yeah. stream instead yeah. of earthquakes on stream, right? right? Okay, yeah. I deal with this every day. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not getting an SNK Wiener Schnitzel collab until we at least get one more Sega collab. <laughs> Wetzel's Pretzels what? Why just is Sega needs to prioritize do over a Wiener Sonic Schnitzel. Chili Dogs. Oh, okay, okay. No, Wetzel's Pretzels just needs to chili do dogs. a Geese Howard collab. What already. is it with Sonic and Chili Dogs? He loves the, Chili Dogs. One of the cartoons. Yeah, oh, it's really? the American oh, cartoon okay. made that a thing. The yeah, American the, cartoon made that well, a thing. They're all American. He's like. Upset. Okay, <laughs> Up the to, bad. Uh, yeah, the the, the stupid the, slapstick one. The most one. low budget one that I would was watch the, in the morning before was school. Was that the Jaleel White one? They both were. They yeah. oh, he's always been the voice of Sonic. Oh, dang. I think there's only one cartoon in all of history where Jaleel White isn't Sonic. Isn't didn't Jaleel White start like a whole like weed business now or something? I don't know. Probably. Oh, really? I think it's called like Purple Urkel or something like that. Yeah, and... you're right. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Because uh -huh. wasn't he chilling with Snoop about it? He was, th was promoting like that. it on yeah. Twitter. True that, story. Yes. Um, Jaleel White went to UCLA at the same time my brother did, and ah. one time he was working at one of the stores uh, and was, you know, just selling items like UCLA hats, and a person walks up, like, beatboxing and kind of thing oh. like that, and then they're like, I'll take that cap, and then, like, he sold him the cap, and the guy just pulls out a $100 bill, and my brother was like, whoa, and he's like, yeah, you probably don't see that very often, huh? <laughs> And then he looks up, and it's Jaleel White mm -hmm. is, like, buying the cap, and then he just takes off. So. Yeah, yeah, it was Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog was yeah. that one. Oh, oh, so Sonic X and Sonic Boom. Mm. Okay. Okay, my pet possum, Momoko. Oh, yeah, that's right, the pet possum. House. So I'm really upset because I have not seen Momoko in a few days. Um, the last two times I checked in the peach tree, the stupid-ass rat was in there. Mm. And it keeps jumping from the branches of the peach tree onto the barbecue gazebo, onto the fence, and then runs away. And yeah, I think that Momoko is um, scared, so I'm gonna have to try to lure Momoko back to the backyard with um, some 
some possum treats because I know possums love like all sorts of fruits and nuts and breads and things. So yeah, I remember reading. Um, if, if I ever see Momoko again, you guys will know because I will post it. Yeah, I was just reading an article recently that was just talking about how possums are absolutely like one of the least dangerous, like least, like like not even like dirty or whatever like that like they're nope. really kind of safe and they're actually kind of cute and, and cuddly possums actually yes they are cute and cuddly mm -hmm. i have proof of that <laughs> so anyways yeah. um at comic-con <laughs> at comic-con um san diego comic-con in 2011 uh i was uh, helping my friend who's always a guest judge there's nathan hair everywhere i don't want yeah. it to go in my mouth right now Anyways, Mike was eating, definitely eating jasmine hair last week. Oh, no, 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 no. I was smelling it for the rest of the night. Yeah. It was all up in my nose. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, this dude, I'm crossing the train tracks. I'm in an Old Republic Star Wars outfit with my boss, um, who's dressed as Darth Malgus. And we're all walking down the street in glowing outfits with lightsabers. And I see this dude just carrying, like, I thought it was a baby. And then... It was wrapped up in a blanket, and I see a possum's face stick out Aww. on the other side of the tracks because, you know, the train tracks are right there before you go to the gas lamp. And I freaked out, and I was like, oh my god, he has a pet possum. I need to talk to this man. And I waved him over, and he was like, cool outfits, and I'm like, thank you, but do you have a possum? And he says, yes. This is Coco Chanel. And I was just like, <laughs> I forgot about the name. Hi, Coco Chanel. <laughs> He's like, he's my, she's my baby possum. I've had her since she was a baby. She's eight years old. Do you want to hold her? And I was like, what I've been wanting my entire right, life. Right, yeah. So I'm like about to cry going, uh -huh, and he just gives me Coco Chanel like a little baby. And I'm holding her like a little baby. And I'm like, hi, Coco Chanel. And when I'm doing this with my finger, she looks up at me and reaches out with her little possum hand and grabs my finger. Oh. And I'm just like... I'm like that meme with the brain glowing and yeah. everything, and I'm just like all is well Dude, in the world. I would have How died. did you not just turn to a puddle? Yeah, I, I know. I, I was holding Coco. I could not squeal. I could not jump. I was just like so overwhelmed and happy in my heart that I finally got my wish. Like you, got, you got the willpower I mean, to just hand her back and then start hyperventilating. You know, it was you, so hard. <laughs> this is how I ended so up with hard. cats. Mm -hmm. Because we, my ex is like, let's go look at cats. And I'm like, all right, but we're not adopting any today, okay? Oh, you didn't know. Yeah, <laughs> but see, the thing Sucker. is, we went there, and one, Nathan was there, and everybody wanted Nathan. Mm. And she was like, let's adopt him now before someone else takes it. And I was like, ah! But she also showed me Jasmine on Pet Finder. Uh -huh. right? And the first time I saw a picture of Jasmine, I was like, she's beautiful. Like, this cat is just gorgeous, right? Mm -hmm. and, and then uh, the lady working at the, it was at an Unleashed, mm -hmm. right? And they were like... They were like, do you want to meet Jasmine? I was like, sure. So they opened the case. Jasmine's just lying there. Mm. She just looks at me. I start petting her stomach, and she immediately licks my hand. That was it. Done. And then yeah, I was yeah. like, I was like, all right, we're adopting this cat. <laughs> <laughs> we're adopting this cat right now. It is so. very hard to go to Petco Unleashed or PetSmart with because yeah. we almost. Well, here's the thing. I have the willpower to not adopt them, and I can still gush over them. But then there was Thor. I was just no. going to bring up Thor. We Ooh. almost brought a cat named Thor home, and he looked like a badass. And he, he was, was a magnificent little beast. And he had the most gorgeous blue-green eyes. Like, he would have been fierce competition with Nathan in the eye department. Like, I mean, I've shown you the cat that I almost brought home, right? Which was this cat right Aww. here. He's missing an eye. <gasps> and so I just saw him. And Those I was are the like, best kitties. I was just like, I need to protect this cat. I and was then, smart enough not to take a picture of Thor, right? And then I actually tweeted about it, and people were like, I, you have to name him Sagato. <laughs> and I was like, That's a reasonable you know, request. I was like, now I'm really kind of mad. I did. Well, I mean, I would have been, I would have said Jube, but Sagato. Well, there's yeah. already a, a Cyclops Jube one, cat so. on Twitter among yeah. the FTC. Yeah. Really so. And then the other one, too, was that the next time I went back to the store, I saw him there again, but he had one of those signs that someone had adopted. And I was like, oh, thank God he has a home. So Yeah, it was not long. It was less than a week we went back to that Pestmart and Thor was gone. And yeah. straight gone, not even straight. like had a sign. No, he, was he gone. his his area was full on empty. So. Yeah, you just had to make sure that it wasn't like 
Loki who took him or something like that, because that would have been a problem. They're that would actually... have been Loki sad. Yeah, <laughs> I've definitely said that. Don't you remember the cat next to him was Loki? <laughs> I didn't think was there was. a Loki? Mm-hmm. I didn't think was. Uh, mm-hmm. no, but I yeah, because it was like the whole litter was all... The whole litter was named... MCU. Yes. <laughs> was, it, was it Andy Osier and Angel that had rabbits at one point that were named Thor and Loki? I think they did a long time ago. Maybe. I think Andy OCR and Angela had that. Well, I mean, there's a reason why Jube has yeah. the eye patch. Mm. It's all the same, like, legend of Jube. Oh, yes. right, the actual, that yes. Jube, yeah, that's why the Jube cat has it in Blaze Blue, yeah. et cetera, et cetera, yeah. All right, and we it's are rapidly same. approaching oh, time. Yeah, it is so close. I know. Maybe we're just, try to refresh. No, we're not happened. quite there yet. We're just killing time right now, so. With the wrong choice of videos there. Oh, no, no, it's, 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 the, it's it was muted, so it's all good. It's all good. Young you, Jube. And then don't forget the girl Jubei anime. With a little heart eye patch? And her eye patch, yes, was a heart. And it was adorable. He beaten me to it. Because it's a conversation. Yush. I wanted to say it. I think I have that um, first two DVDs of that. I've been meaning to watch it one of these days. Yeah. The Legend of the Beautiful Eye Patch or something? Yeah. Or is it adorable or pretty or something? Pretty eye patch. Yeah, we still got technically like a minute and a half. Yeah. So too spamming long. the refresh isn't. Yeah, I know. It's yeah. too long. Nathan, you're going to ruin your eyes that close to the TV. Come <laughs> here. Nathan. That's how I ruined my eyes. Nathan. Playing gumshoe on the Nintendo. That'll do it. Yeah. Lovely eye patch. Thank you. Thank you. Again, I think it's Whip. I'm prepared to be wrong. But okay, I think it's place whip. your but last bet. Who's it going to be? Why are people saying they would laugh out loud if it was Whip? Uh, partly because she just wasn't good in 14. Oh, probably. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Partly because a lot of other people think it's other characters. Okay, one for Kula, one for Blue Mary, I mean, one for Ash, one could for be Athena. Kula? Do you think it could be Kula? I want to see how many people right now will place their last bets. I just it it doesn't Two Mary, three it doesn't Mary. look like it doesn't look like a Mary in the lead. Oh. It doesn't look Four Mary. like oh oh wait oh oh oh, oh. 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 what what oh. do you know I don't know? Wait. All right, all right, chat. Shush, shush, shush. All right, wait, 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 wait. James, you're killing me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hi, beautiful. Welcome back. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Oh I'm, I'm wrong. Let's go. My. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay, Anton better be in this. All right, everybody shush. Everybody shush. Especially because you know I since this is the character I know a lot about, I can actually dissect this trailer better than most. Congratulations, yeah, you're gonna get more merchandise. Yeah, God willing. True anyway. Yeah. So the other thing that I wanted to discuss about this <laughs> Dude, you guys didn't see the look that he gave me. Anyway, oh, he's right, like, this it. motherfucker. <laughs> James. All right, oh, let's James, do this. Oh, James, you are pushing it. I All finally right. have a fucking day one main character. All Yay. Right, let's go, I'm let's go. you happy. It's adorable. Let's go. She's not DLC. Yay. <laughs> Night version? Oh, you're right. Ooh. Hi. Ooh. Yo. Nice. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> what the hell? Gotta have that Mary sequence. <laughs> Huh. 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 Aww. <laughs> Are you ready? Where's Anton? Right, so there's no dog. And the design is still very 15, 14. It's still very 14. Right. Most of the gameplay is still very 14. They did bring back some old shit, though. And 
what some people are saying in the chat. No team. No team. No team. So is she going to be an agent team then? That or seems like a own. high possibility. Agent team or on her own. Because, yeah, Blue Mary was just like the, the like one of the clear givens Ooh. to be added to the women's team, right? Because she's One been, of the good shots. Right, yeah. yeah. But, interesting. So, I mean, how familiar are you with her moveset in 14? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're good. Okay, okay. <laughs> We're good. So, that's what I'm just wondering. Like, are you going to be able to note what's new oh, and yeah. what's not? Did you, you, you heard me. I was yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah. shit. Uh-huh, right. I just wanted to make sure. They gave her back Raw Spider. Right. Yeah. I mean, obviously, the character design is not quite what you are, you probably would hope for. Yeah, right? but uh, the, the upgrades to the face do go a long fucking way. Right. Oh, shout oh, out yeah. to Rocket Punch, by the way. Rocket Punch! There you go. Punch Rocket punch. punch. Rocket Punch. Sigma Nuts Cat Butts to Rocket Punch. There you go. Yeah, actually, I'm super hoping it's Mary Vanessa <laughs> Seth. That would let, be Ra let Ramon stay on Team Mexico, bring back Seth. Yep. But Sigma Nuts, Cat Butts, to Rocket oh, Punch, yeah. to Tony Mo, to Wingless, <laughs> to Little Creepy Sleepy, Origami Kingdom, who has also just been a longtime supporter of the <laughs> channel. And oh, fucking yeah. A Thirsty Games. Bust the Dallas. Oh, dang. Thirsty Games, too. Are you okay, Kitty? What happened? What? what? I heard her go, woof. That, that was me. That was him. That was you. That was me. I'm not the only one that thirsty, made a noise. Thirsty, oh, okay, thirsty back okay. in there, too. Gotcha, and, gotcha. And yes, fine. I think you two have been hanging around each other too much. You sound like each other now. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I've been making all sorts of dumb noises for as long as you've known me. Is Olaf convinced okay. now that it's Blue Mary? I, I think I'm convinced. Was he saying it was Blue Mary and you were saying it wasn't or something? He was just hoping. Okay. And it, now, like, it. I'm getting, like, blown up on every oh, platform. Oh, no. You are going to be uh -huh. blowing the F up until yeah. tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. It's yeah, I just got, like, Discord messages. Hey, your girl's back. <laughs> <laughs> all right so let's do this in slow-mo yeah, i so love the all, night version yeah night version of the sunset. beach stage it's sunset dusk beach sunset there you go whoa oh, take yeah. a look at this tsunami squeak <laughs> squeak squeak uh sigma nuts cat butts the seiru x for the and i and i accidentally got him banned oh, from yeah. uh my chat a couple a couple of days ago for talking shit about kenzo yeah uh -huh, yeah uh -huh. he talked oh, shit about kenzo oh, and i God. said oh, yeah. someone ban him and as they a did joke, immediately and yes. someone actually did ban him and i felt oh, bad about that oh the power you wield you james so sigma has cat butts to say you oh, x yeah. To uh, Tsunami Squeak, to Justine St. Remy, to Mr. Jeever, to Raven777, and to Omega Chain Boy. Oh, yeah. There you go. Okay, and then we've got two people back to back with correct things. If KO15 does the thing where time passes between rounds, these stages are godly. Yeah. 100%. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And then Senior Fro is like, there's texture on her top, which is nice, but, <laughs> Leon, but Leona has more abs than her. So, Come on. Yeah. Okay, that's the thing that I was going to bring up, more but I didn't want to be jokes. a downer. I'm kind of disappointed that she still has Instagram filter and she doesn't have abs and she doesn't have arms. She's a grappler. Give her the same abs yeah. and arms you gave Leona, please. She's still and look and please no, but do, see, please when do the time has changed, the truck and the dudes aren't there anymore. Okay, oh, so please. guys, what came out on August twenty fifth, nineteen ninety four? That's a great question. I'm looking this up right now, actually. Real doubt. K O F. No. Try K O F ninety four. Nineteen ninety four. 0825. Let's see. August 25th, it says. Yep. <gasps> yep. That's when, oh. <laughs> that's when KOF 94 got was released into the arcade, according to this. I just saw that. Yep. Good shit. That's, I love you, SNK. That's I love adorable. when you do yeah, these Worldwide, things. worldwide, it was released. KOF 94, August 25th. There you go. Perfect. There you go. But yeah, the, the car is gone, and it, now it's just replaced by the Those boats co that are commemorative docked. boats. And yeah, so yeah, I do like her face there. Yeah, less less of the uh, abs, as we said, less of the muscles like Leona has. It does look like they toned down her chest though, compared to fourteen. Now, who is is that I the same so. actress from fourteen as well? Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's her fourteen actress. Okay. 
Yeah, the I mean that's a good face right yeah. there, right? That's a good face. It's funny though, but like when you go look at them back to back, like it almost doesn't look like the same model because of the lighting I changes. I absolutely yeah. love her eyes. It looks like the Blue mm -hmm. Mary drink. No, good <laughs> shit on you guys. Good shit. She on still you has guys. the little. She still has the necklace and the necklace. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I, like I said, I actually really like the top redesign and the texturing is kind of neat. I was just mm. gonna say, but she still got the lack of combat boots, basically. Yeah. There you go. She's going comfy, but, sneaker -like. But her animations are a hell of a lot better. Yeah. Like, the stretching and everything there, that's a lot better than 14. Okay. Yes, no, still, still no Anton. Anton. I know. But we also, you know, maybe didn't see all the wind poses and stuff. Right. Okay, so, so Farsi. Yeah. I mean, is there a no dogs Jumpy. allowed sign on the beach? No is dogs. that why there's no Three B launcher. I mean, there's a sign in the back that says ant, right? I mean, they're just just rubbing it in at this point. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, so she got that back. I I hope it's a little more useful than it typically is. What is that? Three, it's three B. It's like it's a weird like anti air launcher. Okay. It's it can be good for some of her juggle combos in fourteen, yeah. but it's. Eh. I do like the the hair movement on that mm -hmm. one right there. Because when little I paused foosh. it, yeah, when I paused it, the hair, yeah, the little yeah. hair foosh there. So smack that CD. So we got CD. the CD. Throw. Throw. Splat. Now, I didn't see, I don't know, I might have been distracted with other stuff. Did you see her pull her hair back or do anything that she no. used to do no, in Real Bell? No, no, no. Or up till KOF 03. Yeah, and I'm still kind of disappointed that Dynamite Swing is her level 3 again, but it is what it is. Just because I really like having that as a tool. Instead right. of being three freaking bars. Mm. So what is this move here? This is spider. This is a jumping command grab. Oh, okay, okay. And so most of the time, it's a follow-up from the normal version of that. Uh, uh -huh. um, as of 99 on out. But 98 and earlier, it's just jumping command grab. Right. And they, they let her have that back. And this is, this is super number two. Yeah, which is just a throw super. Right. It's definitely a far more polished version of 14, and right. she was, like, in the final season of 14, so she already had a head start on a lot right. of the rest of the cast. that's true, that's true, yeah. I mean, would you say it's, like, not quite the same upgrade level as some of the other characters, basically? Um, in terms of, like, some of the animation stuff, it's not, maybe oh, not the biggest cream. jump. Um, but, I mean, at least they really did a lot of work on, like, some of her face and some of the other animations. Well, I mean, like, it's just the lighting difference between previous game and this game are just, like, they yeah. already... Because we talked about this a million times, how just by putting them into the Street Fighter V engine, they looked a lot better. Like, yeah. the models looked really, really good. Yeah, yeah. There's, a, there's a couple that are upgraded. It's not, like, super dramatic. Right. But giving her that taunt back is always a good time. Yeah. So 14 didn't have taunts, At right? All. Yeah. yeah. So this is brand new right here. Just basically kind yeah. of... Yeah. And it's, it's one of her classic taunts. taunts. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. So that was actually really weird because I think that was actually the end of one of her command normals after that cut. Oh, okay. So that... Now, here's her canceling into the spider thing. Yep. So she Just can hook. actually tick throw and into it. And it still hits crouching, which is good. Yeah. And... And okay. get fucked. Ouch. Poor Joe. We've just been seeing him get beat up all day today. Fatal Fury characters. Yeah. Yep, and there's the r overhead into Quick Max, oh, which is always Jesus. fucking scary. Okay. I totally missed that there was the Quick Max cancel, but yeah. again, manual dash, it looks like to me. And then just ending it in EXDP. Yeah. She always had that EXDP? That's, that's what our EXDP is in 14. Okay. Yep. The dodge throw is looking good as fuck. So How far, so good. It's literally evade, and then you do a follow-up, and it turns into a grab. Oh, uh, okay. So do you have to manually do a follow-up? Yeah, it's down-to-back punch, and then, you know, you're dodging. And then right. half-circle forward punch, it right. turns into a command throw. I mean, the thing about it is, I mean, I see some people in the chat mentioning that they, they don't like, the, that the animations still look the same and everything like that, but, you know, we keep joking about how SNK just doesn't like Mary. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I get her back in the launch roster. Yeah, I'm not going to complain. Right. Yeah. You get a main at least this way. Yep. Actually, in some of the lighting, at least like her obliques look decent along her hips. Yeah. yeah like so I said, she's the got the taser back. The lighting goes a long way, to be honest with you. 
Dang, what is yeah. this taser thing, dude? That's her EX slide. Oh, like, okay. she gets that follow-up, which is, like, it's one of the things that gives her, like, really good damage for low meter usage. Right. Yeah. Okay. Like, I'm really fine with this upgrade. Oh, I wasn't sure if John was saying that he hated that or if he hated the quick max. Oh, he hates the quick max. Overhead oh, quick max. Totally yeah, 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 yeah. Hates the quick That's max. what he was talking about. Got it. Okay, got it, got it. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair he, enough. He deeply hates Quick Max, and like most people who hate Quick Max, one of the key reasons is raw overhead Quick Max, you're fucked. Yeah. But so far, like I said, I feel like we haven't seen like quick oh, raw oh, something into Quick Max into one, into two, into three. So there's still yeah. credence that there could be two different grooves. That right? or, or the Quick Max limits what you can do while right. regular like raw Max mm -hmm. gives you one. Yeah, there's still a lot left to, to know. Now, the biggest surprise is showing the whole thing here, not cutting, and then showing a little more before it did the KOF logo. Yeah, and they even showed a little follow-up animations, too, so. There you go. Blue Mary is in the game. And Actually, weak. her gloves look updated now that I'm looking at them. But yeah, yeah the old win pose. The old, like, character art. Like, that's like an iconic picture of her, basically. Yeah, okay, okay. So, so to answer the question on her eye color from royal blue to aqua, that has never been consistent in the past 30 years. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Her eye color changes every time. It's like, I literally, if someone asks me what her eye color is, I'm just be like, uh, bluish. So, more stretching anime. Yo, Rabbit Singh, what's going on, man? Oh, oh, what's, what's up, up? Rabbit Singh? How's it going? What is going on, dude? Hi. Yeah. So, there you go. Um, well, at least I have a day one. I mean, back to back to very um, standard trailer here. We don't we didn't get any of like the crazy new reveals or anything like that, right? So this seems like to be a pretty uh, standard trailer here. Mm -hmm. But you know, we were talking about before this came out how we would have loved to see a mechanics trailer and all that stuff like that. But we also mentioned that E3 is coming around in two weeks, right? Maybe they're going to save something for there, right? Yeah. Maybe. I mean, that would be a really good time to actually do it. Right. But, yeah, if, if, if we get an agent team, like, that would be cool. And if we actually get an alternate Southtown team, I'm 100% on board. Right. But she probably wouldn't be able to put up with duck shit for very long, so who knows. But, yeah, <laughs> if we get, like, a real bout team, like, let's fucking go. Look at this glamour shot of Mary here, dude. Dude, if they cut Vanessa and give us Rick Stroud, that's oh where we get to shatter, shatter all expectations. <laughs> that is... Fucking real about team. Let's go. That is, that is absolutely great. That needs to be the synchronized header nope. for the week. You think you're going to pick the Mary out of the <laughs> The fuck are you on? I'm just saying it would make a good one. That's all. No, you're right. It's your Mary. You decide your Mary. What are what what in the what is Nathan doing? He's trying to get into the cabinet again. Is there nip in the cabinet? No, he just likes to see what's in it. He can't get it. Seriously, I don't even I don't even care about like the UI itself yet. I care about knowing what the mechanics are. Do and do we have two grooves? Do we have a second like resource system? Does Quick Max change the properties dramatically? if I could move the litter box in there, actually. Yeah, I mean, it, we, we all hope the UI looks good, but that's not, like, my concern at the very moment. Sorry, thinking cat things all of a sudden, so just getting ideas here. Okay, <laughs> um, but there you go. Blue Mary. I mean, I was... This is probably the first one that I feel like I was, like, Way wrong, off base. wrong. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm really surprised. Yeah, because I was positive it was going to be whipped actually so there yeah. you go no i mean part of the reason i like her dumb big belt in the older games is that she, she had taunts where she'd use it like a hula hoop yes and that shit yeah, was yeah, adorable yeah, 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 yeah. that was the best mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah but they seem to have it so that the belt isn't as loose right it's yeah the, it's the tight yeah because it's more like a holster kind of thing right and like i said i feel like when we when you were doing the blue mary conversation i felt like that was just probably because it was hard to make it like move around on her properly so yep but the shoes yeah, but the cool. shoes yeah but yo maybe, mary franco duck that maybe would be cool. maybe it's just casual mary now you know maybe that's just what she is now it's comfortable mary 
So she could have a Fatal Fury team, right? Yeah, so, I would love to, for them to say, fuck it, we're making a real bow team. Right, but, I mean, it would And she's, make, like, a carryover from three, but But whatever. you couldn't put her on the same team with Yamazaki, right? Yeah, no. If, yeah. If, they, if they somehow make her on the 97 special team, then that's just really fucking weird. Which was Yamazaki and Billy. Oh, Like, right. that makes, yeah, yeah, like, no fucking yeah. sense. Oh, that would make no sense. Yeah. Like, it would make more sense if it was, like, Mary, and then, like, freaking, like, a... Duck and Yamazaki as a Fatal Fury team, probably, than, yeah, no. than having Yamazaki and Billy on there. Yeah, actually, that's a, like, okay, I'm not gonna confirm or anything about that, but we're getting the developer notes this week, so that might answer a few questions about yeah. Mary Dude, in general, Tor too. Torrance actually says Guy Tendo next. They just, yeah. that, Dude, they that, give me an MMA team? Like, let's fucking go. Dude, I mean, that's just basically them saying, here, this game was made for you, Here you go, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, so, I mean, like, she's either on an agent team or she's going to be on a really interesting team. So who would be no on the what. agent team? Pretty much Vanessa and Seth or Vanessa and Ramon, and they just keep Seth out of it again. Have they? That has been a team before, the agent team, Yeah, right? um, yeah. And most notably Eleven. With In terms of Mary being on the agent team, Eleven. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Because with, with Vanessa and Ramon. Gotcha, okay, okay. Um. Oh, Elizabeth's totally coming back. Just not yet. Yeah, we've got a long way to go. Holy shit, did everyone explode Twitter? I've been trying for like the Dude, past 15, crash? 15 minutes to make a tweet about Blue Mary, and it's just... Okay, it finally went through. My goodness. <laughs> yeah, there's still no dog yet, so... You know what would be the funniest thing? Is if a, a future patch came out and they added Anton <laughs> in a patch. Dude, best patch notes. <laughs> right, yeah, exactly. Patch notes, added dog. Right. All right, all right. I mean, it's like, <laughs> it's like us hoping that they would eventually fix Birdie's chain in Street Fighter V in a patch, right? <laughs> Which uh, never happened. <laughs> so, Oswald to join the agents team? I mean... That's a long shot, but it'd be cool. Oswald's a bad guy, right? Or... Uh, not so much a bad guy, more like morally gray. Okay, gotcha. And Oswald is the card guy, right? So the mm -hmm. one in Eleven who's like super good, right? Yeah. And who's the butler in the last... Hein. Hein, Hein that's what it Hein. Is. Who I'm still convinced is related to uh, Kane from Mark of the Wolves. Oh, uh, right, right, right. Because they have like similar last name, but just like slightly different That spelling. and demeanor and both tied to Geese Howard. Right, okay, okay. Uh, because Ash is really fun, and he's a guile car and charge type. And he's integral to the plot and stuff like that, right? So yeah, he was the, the main character of a whole mm -hmm, arc. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> and I actually, I really like that saga, like, in terms of the story itself. I would love an animal team. If Pet Shop can be broken in JoJo's and be top tier, then there's no reason we can't have a broken animal team if in I recall, KOF. If Dude, I recall correctly, I Kane is actually uh, Geese's stepbrother, or brother-in-law. Brother-in-law. That team should actually be Anton, Duck King, the and chick? Kizok. That's what it should. That's the animal. Dude, team and right like you, you let Anton <laughs> just straight up be like Iggy from JoJo's, yeah, like all tiny and complete bullshit. Oh man. But that would be funny to have Anton, Poppy, and Eagle. Uh, oh, Mama, ha ha. <laughs> Bird. Dude, I was, bucket. I was actually sad because I was watching, like, uh, J.M. Crofts does these uh, uh, Jeopardy episodes. And one of the questions was the, the name of Nakaruru's bird. Mm. And I Please tell me that was, like, a $200 question. No, I think it was, like, one of the $1,000 question or something like wow. that. No one got it. <sighs> And it was like Sejan, Justin, and uh, yo, yeah, Terry's time. monkey, Uki. Terry has a monkey. It's a pet Shame. monkey, little little pet chimp. It's a little cutest little thing. It's adorable. It's only in the Fatal Fury games, pretty much. Is it a pygmy chimp? One of those tiny. Oh, who Here's the thing, though, is that Mama Haha -ha is in CBS two, which everybody apparently right. knows. That's like most people's entire SNK now, lore. Terry's monkey. Who would win, Terry's monkey or Monkey Tam Tam? Monkey Tam Tam. Monkey Tam. Okay. <laughs> Uki's not a fighter. Gotcha. He's a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> He's a precious uh, little I fighter. would not leave those two alone unsupervised. I would, I would not. <laughs> Did the monkey actually run away plot wise? I don't remember. <laughs> the, I mean, still people played Nakaruru, just didn't win with Nakaruru. Mm. Duck, King, Geese, and Big Bear. 
I mean, animal theme team. Eh. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I wouldn't put geese on there. I would put king of dinosaurs on yeah, there. Yeah, that's a know. better answer. Yeah. Um, you just but, want you just want team foul. Especially also because no, because big bear foul. big bear reformed because he's no longer riding. Big bear is his face persona. Right, he's a good guy now. Right, so. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, Duck King, Big Bear, and King of Dinosaurs actually would make a pretty sick... Like, even thematically, it would yeah. kind of make sense, right? So, Duck would be the one that doesn't fit the most, but... He still, still. has a command grab super, it's good enough. Right. <laughs> I mean, if you put all the kings and put the three kings, so you have Duck King, King of Dinosaurs, and King. Yeah, you got King three team. kings. I mean, I got two of them right here on my shirt, so... Yeah, well, I mean, that's, again, that's part of the whole, like, KOF <laughs> and, like, Fatal Fury timeline nonsense. Yeah. But someone... Yeah. But Carlito actually explicitly said Big Bear. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, I and still, Big Bear face turn for I life. still want t and King of Dinosaurs to show up in the same game and just... And they'd be like, we told you we weren't the same guy. <laughs> <laughs> We're yeah. just friends. The twin we, brothers. Yeah, uh-huh. I think it'd be so awesome. Oh, that'd be too good. Like, it just shows up. Oh, man. Too good. I mean, I wonder if they... Because King of Dinosaur didn't have a T-Zog costume, right? Nope. So, mm-hmm. I mean, but and he doesn't even, even have a lot of T-Zog's moves. Right, that's what I was about to say. He doesn't even have, like, the beak nope. stab and nope. stuff he's, like he's that. No, he's a right? full persona change. He's a full persona change. So why did everybody think it was the same person? What was the main, uh, like, joke storyline or, you know? I mean, there's a lot of reasons that are, like, abundantly clear. Like, yeah, it's totally him. Uh-huh. But, um, like, there's actually, in story mode, if Terry and Dinosaur meet each other, he's like... Hey, how you doing? What's going on? d is like, hey, Terry. I mean, who are you? <laughs> like, just totally, like, kind of tries to gloss over it. Right, um, um, and then in his ending, he also, like, sits there and talks about, like, his heel turn. And is he going to be a good influence on the kids because of his past uh, as a face? Oh, right. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay. But, I mean, I felt like people kind of were calling him that even before he was. I mean, look at him. He a big boy. Right. And he well, is like I mean, yeah, clearly the same physique and the same like overarching design. Right. Philosophy. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I just felt like people were saying it even before they got to the story and the ending and stuff, and that was more just confirmation kind of thing. So. Uh, also, I mean, his command grab's pretty similar. Okay. There's a lot. Mule. Yeah, yeah. They, they definitely improved the face a lot on Blue Mary. Mm-hmm. On this like this isn't even my favorite shot of her by a long shot. Right. Like the eyes look nice, but there's definitely other shots I prefer. There are many super I'm, cute uh, shots yeah. that they did in that trailer that yeah. are really nice. Yeah, and at, at least she doesn't look like she's back to being 18 years old anymore. That's a big one for me. Like she doesn't look like an 18 year old like generic anime girl. Right. Mm-hmm. Or just have that airhead expression on her face like she did in 14. Yeah. So like, that was Like there's bad. actually like a couple shots where she looks like super like genuinely pretty. So now, I'm on board. Now the question really just comes down to is you know they did not complete the women's team so mm-hmm. what is she going to be on and uh, And then what the hell is still with women's team? Yep. Right. Th- this is, is the longest they have dragged out a team. Which makes me think it might be a new character. Or something really interesting. Right. Uh, I mean, shatter all expectations indeed at this point, right? So mm-hmm. maybe they'll come out with something crazier yes. that we were not expecting at all. Dude, I'd be on board for Shang Fei. There's still other characters I'd prefer, but Shang Fei's still rad. Mm-hmm. Shunei's rival is the final character of Women's Team. Does Shunei have a rival? <laughs> Does Shunei have writing yet? <laughs> oh, that's right. Alice is still a possibility as well. Mm. I forgot she was on the women's team last time, right? Or was she not in fourteen? She was. Yeah. Who was she with? Was it? It was Ma- King and Mai. King right? and Mai. Okay. Okay. But we're still not even sure necessarily that Yuri is on the team, right? Yeah, we technically don't know shit. Mm-hmm, Why mm-hmm. are you licking me? Am I tasty? No, she likes to lick the everything that's why the whole thing that when i pet her in the stomach when i pet her stomach and she licked my hand and i was like oh my god it turns out she licks everything nobody needs three more kyo clones three kyo clones (laughs) only yori does for his band that's it that's it that's the only thing that kyo clones are good for band stand-ins memes about it and memes yes (laughs) Yep. oscar Uh, seat filler ebenezer grinch i mean kof 
14 came out with what 50 characters. Uh, it was 40 right? something, I think. Yeah, it was it was, it was up there. Yeah, I think it was yeah. I think it was what 42, 41. I, was, I thought it was 50 because there's eight DLC and I thought there was 58 total. There was 48. Uh, oh, it was, yeah, it was okay. Yeah, yeah it, it was, was apparently 50 at launch. Yeah. yeah. So that's so, about the ballpark we're expecting. So I'm I'm guessing it could be that much. I mean, hell what if it came out with like 60 characters in there? Sweet. You know, Let's I mean, go. Straight up like 20 teams. Yeah, no, they're definitely giving us a lot of the expecteds first. You know, yeah. Chizuru was probably the biggest curveball. The sh- expectations well, shattered I mean, that we got. The thing is, so I far. mean, so it's, yeah, Chizuru is the number one. Then the Orochi team, if you weren't right. paying attention. Right. And then it's Mary because she's, I think, the first character who was DLC that's now launch roster. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because okay. we don't have Whip yet. Right. No Hydern, no Yamazaki, no Oswald, et cetera, et cetera. Yes. Okay. By the way, did you want to watch the trailer again, listen to the music? Or? Yes, please. Yeah. Yes, okay. one more yeah. time. Yeah, just play at a normal speed, have... and then uh, we can go into presentation time. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Because I know every time you want to listen to the music at least once. Yeah, right. uh, I think someone already said what the music was in the trailer, but oh, yeah. I was but too busy staring. It you want to hear it anyway. Yeah. We're overstimulated enough as it is. Okay, yeah, O2UM. Ooh, Mary, so sweet. Let's fight! Again, I would love to have a Hyder and Takuma Saisu team. I'm Takuma's number one fan. Whether, whether you like it or not. Yes. First of all, right? You so were made to be that's the number my favorite, one fan. That's my favorite character, and I would love to use old man team, right? I mean, that would just be... <laughs> I mean, that would be a team that spoke to my heart. Team old head. Alrighty. So, what I am going to do here is take this off. And so it did turn out to be Mary. It was Mary all along. Uh, and then I am oh, actually, I'm gonna start doing the, the updating. There you go. <laughs> do, do, do. Oh, the the headshot, yeah. you mean? Yeah. So, so, what is our presentation today? <laughs> <laughs> Suggested it? emote. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Uh-huh. Like, like actually sent to. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I wanted to oh, make that as yes. an emote That's for sure. One. For sure, that's exactly what I wanted to do. That was the plan. If I if I was gonna go ahead and take away all the Nathan ones, I was definitely gonna do that. So <laughs> what now? Oh yeah, I saw that. That's a good one. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about We're it. We're gonna talk about it. A little bit. We're gonna talk about Cat it. Not completely. Cat is on your book. No, 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 Jasmine, no. <laughs> no. This is what Jasmine does. She walks over everything. I told you. I told you when you first came over. Before we started, I told you, Jay Esmond. <laughs> Leave the book alone. Leave the book alone. This book is a sacred treasure to me, which you guys are going to find out. So, which means yeah. you've you know, got to be this careful might be a good Ash, because Ash might take it away from you. What then. do you think? No! Think this should be the new after? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Oh, there he is. Okay. I just, was almost mad. Updated. I could only find oh, five of my Takumas. <gasps> oh, no. Oh no! I'm a genius. Oh no! Shit! Oh no! Turn on the PS4. I had to move the the controller cables so I could have this right here. My bad. Gonna bust out my Takumas again. You are so proud. I'm gonna frame those for you. Oh yeah. I'm I'm gonna put them in a frame. We can hang them right behind here, just like a row of Takuma cards in a frame. So I can always tell people about my amazing RNG, basically. Uh Flawless. Yeah. All right. So, okay, where did you leave off? 
What are you talking about? Last week. Well, we didn't really. No, I I did everything except Obari. Okay, so part of what Olaf talked about last week was the animation of SNK, and thanks to Olaf because I wanted to cover this, he left out my favorite so I could talk about him today. So here we go. (laughs) If you do not know, but you guys do because you're good boys and girls. mm -hmm. Yes. Let yes, me, James. Let me also do one more thing. Do one here. more thing. Oh yeah, get all that ready. So what I wanted to do actually was bring up this. So this was the timeline of animation from last week that uh, Olaf uh, presented here. So let me go ahead and do this. Uh, boom. So Which is still is the, funny to me, like thinking, like, damn, I could have put this in there, and I could have put yeah. this in there. <laughs> well, this was the timeline presentation here. And so these, this red box here, and then obviously for the upcoming King of Fighters 15 production, uh, this is these are all Obari works here. And so Olaf talked about everything else except the Obari stuff, so we could save it for this week for Kitty. So there you go. So Obari worked on the Fatal Fury OVA, the Fatal Fury 2 OVA, and then the Fatal Fury movie. The motion picture. And then... Gao Kaiser. Yep. Right? Okay. Which is like not really SNK SNK, but it was a game on the Neo Geo, so it counts. Yes. Right. And then the announcement from SNK was that they are bringing Obari back to do a uh, little intro shorts or something like some that. Some sort right? of promotional there video. There is some sort of special SNK animation that is going mm-hmm. to happen with Obari coming back. And I'm curious to know if it's going to be under his G1 studio or somebody else but we'll we'll get into that momentarily you sent me all these pictures do you want them in this particular order here or Uh, no how did they get all must again because the name it was the names the names Uh, okay it's okay I'll guide you okay I'll guide you no worries no worries I'm just gonna rename them right now so make it easier (laughs) okay so anyways Masami Obari. I cannot tell you how much this man shaped so much of my life because before I became a cosplayer, I was going to school for illustration, art rendering, design, and most of the time I got bad grades on all my projects because I was drawing anime. And American teacher artists hated it, but I kept doing it regardless of my grades. Um, Did they just not know about anime? They or? just hated it. It came from Japan. It was a cartoon. It wasn't Rembrandt. This isn't it wasn't what I Monet. want you to draw. This is not what I asked you to draw and you keep drawing it. Art is about your own interpretation and expression. How dare you not follow my plan? <laughs> that was my yeah, whole... Follow my definition of your expression. You guys, that's a whole different story. I'll talk about it on my own stream sometime, but I was very much abused by art teachers. Um, but, but literally all art teachers from like the 80s until last I could hear yeah, about like them. It, it's it, awful. Was, it was terrible. Uh, there was one nasty woman, I swore to God, she was some kind <laughs> of like Harry Potter witch. Like, she made my life a living hell. Oh, man. She even held up one of my most proudest works because I was so proud of the shading I did she held it up she got the class's attention and she's like excuse me excuse me class she did talk like this and she acted like this she did excuse me class class can I have your attention please yes okay everybody she took my notepad pad up like this it was a big one too and she's like everyone I want you to look at this right now and I thought, oh my god, I'm getting praised, finally! Oh, I'm so no. happy! Yeah. She's like, oh. and people were ooing and awing until she said, this is exactly what I don't want you to do on this project. Oh. If you do this, you'll be getting zero credit. So Good make sure toxicity. you follow the rules. I almost fucking cried. I had a hold it in. I'm All surprised right. you didn't cry. I, Jesus, I would have. Okay, and my sister was in class with me. She was sitting right next to me, not helping. What are the odds? She was <laughs> you know that. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. She was like, dude, dude, are you okay? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh my god, are you okay? Totally not helping. You know, and she's just like, Do you want to leave class? And I'm just like, Mm-mm, I'll just start over. Mm-mm. 
hand me my B2 shading pencil. Thank you. Mm -mm. And, and that's when I you start just... drawing a crime scene. Dude. <laughs> And I had this woman all throughout every single art class from like life drawing to painting to uh, finally they got a new illustration teacher. So I was like, oh, thank God. But no, I had to deal with that because artists like Obari were my inspiration for, you know, my art and the way I interpret things and the way I draw. And regardless of the, all the bad grades she gave me, I still continued to draw from my inspirations. And he was a big one because and i'll go into that reason later so anyways not only with my art but also i know it sounds crazy but with my cosplays as well anyways if you guys do not have this book please try to find it it is a beautiful piece of history in um early 90s and 80s animation and the fact it come on it's obari and you better grab it now before this new animation comes out because it's probably going to go skyrocket. Yeah, let's, let's find out what it's, it's just, at right now. It's, it should be around 80, like 60 I, to 80 right now. I just want to like kind of set the set the tone of that time too because like it's weird. I'm sure a lot of the younger people in the stream are probably aren't aware of this at all. I, but I'm going to post an image of it. But anyways, it's Masami Obari's um, G, grade one. Grade, G1 grade one illustration book. Uh, I found it on eBay currently for 80 plus 20 shipping Jesus. on sale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm telling you guys, that, wait till I open it and I show you guys on the better camera. And I actually grabbed some illustrations from this book online to show you in a little bit after I start talking about Obari. Yeah. So, like I said, the one thing I wanted to, 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 to mention to people, and this probably is going to catch a lot of people by surprise too, but you don't understand what it was like at that time when we were younger because anime just wasn't a thing. People I, hated it because it was different. They just, well, they, also it was just cartoons had a bad reputation because American cartoons were largely the 30 minute commercials, yes, right? And or, they weren't anything yeah. Or a Disney serious. movie and that was about it. Right, you know? and so what happened, I mean, this is why all of, we have so much terrible video game art box art in America. This is why Rama won half the fighting game got turned into street combat. The first one only. The second one actually, yeah, the second yeah, one yeah, actually yeah, yeah. got to be uh -huh, Rama. Uh-huh. Yeah. So that's the whole thing. A, a lot of it was not like anime nowadays is like everybody watches anime and we all know and it's, anime it's is part of now. culture. It's mainstream now. Right. And we kind of pioneered the way for that to happen, which I'm happy it's so accessible now because yeah. you guys also have to remember we didn't have this at our fingertips. Yeah, you no, know, I mean, it was well, so hard to get so animes. Even in the early 90s, in the early 90s, anime's entire marketing was this is cartoons for adults. Like, they had to right, actually yeah. sell it that uh -huh. way. Okay, uh -huh. manga previews. Yeah. And, Explicitly and, manga. And, he, was, he was literally making fun of the manga entertainment previews. Yeah, that is exactly what it was. The only place you could ever get anime, which is why I made the joke last week about Suncoast, mm -hmm. was Suncoast or two, you just, it was the third time copied VHS fan sub that i bought from know. frank and sons right i mean occasionally like hollywood video and blockbuster would tower, have ghost in the shell tower hollywood video blockbuster your hole in the wall video places where Ninja you could rent it and then yeah. you had uh -huh. um again you had suncoast um i got my whole street fighter tv collection from best buy of all places yeah, i mean like literally when we were growing up like ninja scroll was What's like the, the only e anime e that was being sold anywhere. Yeah. No, and I mean, then, like, we wouldn't have anything, honestly, in the States probably at all if it weren't for the sci-fi channel. I was yeah. just going to bring that up. The only other way you could get away with, you know, watching anime and more adult ones as a kid was through sci-fi channel. Like, they did edit out stuff, but... The Sci-Fi Channel had one of our favorites that we just gush about, which was Robot Carnival. Like, mm. that shit made me cry, okay? I Actually, did they? Yes. I don't remember them. I, I remember it on Cartoon Network. Oh, no. Robot Carnival yeah, Cartoon, is where I saw it. Cartoon Network had Vampire Hunter D and Robot Carnival on the same night. I watched that shit those, was awesome. I watched those mm. years before on Sci-Fi. Because they had Vampire Hunter D, and then they had Robot Carnival. They had my, my favorites, which we're going to talk about, Project Aiko, and um, all of those from the first one to, like, Cinderella Rhapsody. Yes, Iria. And Iria oh God, was Iria another so one. Good. And then Battle Angel was another one that was on sci-fi. 
And then my favorite, Tank Police, with the coolest techno song on the face of the <laughs> planet. the power that we got. Tank Police, <laughs> we'll give it our best shot. And then you had like all the techno like sound effects. And James is like, the whatever. fuck are you people talking about? <laughs> have you not seen Tank Police? I've seen Tank Police. Okay, I good. have seen Tank Police. Wow. Good. Good. Tank Police the... Oh, was the one that had the two cat girls, Anna right? Anapuna and Unapuna. Of course, that's yeah. why you no, would have seen it. That's not why I know it. <laughs> no, because the thing is, while I was growing up, I had friends who were into anime. Mm. He was the only reason why I saw Tank Police and Akira when I was a kid. And Akira was the one that actually yes, turned me off of anime. Akira. Because that movie traumatized the fuck out of me. Basically. I watched it three wow. times as a kid in a row. I still couldn't understand it. Yeah. It was it was very confusing. I mean, anyways, that's because like ninety percent of the plots chopped out. I mean, one of our, uh, our, I mean, as as Americans, honestly, our first exposure to anime was largely Robotech, which isn't even, yes. which is like all Speed like Speed Racer fit. and Speed Racer. I never watched Speed Racer. Yeah, but I did. You're, I did. You said largely for Americans, but not me. So I'm changing the topic. <laughs> Fucking Speed Racer and Voltron. For me, Voltron was huge yeah. for me. I loved Voltron. I mean, okay? the weirdest thing about it was, my like, even though Speed Racer was on TV and Voltron was on TV, Robotech was the first that felt like it was different. There was something yes. about it that felt like it was unusual yeah. or something about it was different than traditional animation. You yes. know what I mean? That, there was something and, about and it. And this well, I mean, like, way it, before it had a bit of, like, Sailor the, Moon and Dragon Ball ever showed up well, Because on, like, it had a bit more of like the us. military context. Yeah, and, and that's something that we didn't and, get in cartoons. Yeah. Good guys died, which yes. traumatized me as a... Robotech and Akira traumatized me, dude. Like, both of those things traumatized me. Okay, well, getting back to Obari. <laughs> getting back to Obari here. Okay, so... Uh, maybe you guys don't know this, but I'm gonna go into like how Obari got into animation. He actually had a friend in high school that would carry around peg sheets, which you use to do, you know, animation, animation cells, all that good stuff. And through his friend in high school that had these, he was asking about them. And so his friend pretty much kind of explained the whole deal of animating, uh, animation, and Obari wanted to try it out. So he did, and he was absolutely fascinated and hooked on how he could make these ideas from his head show up and, you know, animate them so quickly by the frame by frame. So that's what piqued and started Obari's curiosity into animation. Um, one thing Obari did, which I find fascinating, and is something that I feel I would do and fall into, is he did not go to art school. He went a completely different route, mm -hmm. but working directly with some of the most famous animators from two different studios, and those studios were actually um, Konami Pro and uh, Tatsunoko Pro Studios. And there he actually Hello, he actually met uh, Yoshinori Kaneda and Toyo Ashida, which were two big, big famous you know animators and were very important to him. So from there, he would always make appointments at these studios to see these directors. And he would show them all of his animations and his artworks. And they would actually give him pointers. And they would actually tell him, you know, try this, do that, do that. God forbid mentorship. So Weird. So it was amazing. It was great. And because of that, you know, that's how he started getting, you know, introduced and involved into these studios and really just polishing his talents so through there um you know he has his own style which everybody refers to as body which is mm -hmm. short for obari school of animation because obari has always had his own unique style and i'll get more into that so Those we could say issues. like body ish yeah, yeah i mean it's funny because like part of that whole sun coast video thing was me looking at the Fatal Fury box all mm -hmm. the time because I recognized it was video games. And yeah. so, like, that style of animation, his specific art style is something that I still remember as a yes. kid. Super it's still iconic. Right. That's it why is. when you start, when we first started talking about it and you mentioned Obari and how it was like this, I was like, oh, I know exactly what you're talking mm -hmm. about, art yeah. style. <laughs> well, that, that actually progressed later because in these early works that I'm talking about, mm -hmm. he was um, he was actually well known for his mecha designs. Right. Mm -hmm. so Which is still mostly what he's known for. So basically throughout high school, he kept visiting these studios. He finally turns 18 and gets work with um, Ashi um, Studios. 
And he was an animator there and then moved up to a key animator. Like, with the quickness, because, well, he's Obari. So, anyways... So, it means there's probably a certain level of latent talent on top of everything else. Oh, yeah. Now, this is this happened in the 80s. So, you guys know that a lot of cartoons that people grew up with watching in the 80s were actually outsourced to Japan for, you know, animation and everything. Mm -hmm. This is great. This I didn't even know this until not too long ago, but... If you can go to pictures, and oh, I, you're picture gonna time. you're gonna love this, James. The, this is why I'm talking about this first. This one's for you. So this one's in the first one, right? Mm-hmm. So go to that big red mech. Mm-hmm. Wait, this the one? red one? Yes. Oh, that's not the order that that were listed in here. No, I it's don't I don't. Yeah, don't worry I was about like, it. You can just you jump know, around. Just no like, big deal. Yeah, just go to that one. Okay. Just get a scroll over. It's fine. Keep going. There you that go. one. Does that look familiar That's to Freda you? That's King, yeah. Okay, so Obari worked on Transformers. This is... This is from season three. It is the... Um... You don't even have to tell me. You yeah. don't even have to tell me. I know exactly yeah. which one. But <laughs> maybe she can tell the audience. Yes, I'm yeah. telling the audience, James. So, um, where was Goodness. I? Uh, the episode, what was it called? It was called Call of the Primitives. Obari actually worked on this Transformer episode. He also also worked off and on of season one of Transformers. So, so if you ever noticed while watching this as a kid growing up that there were a few shots that these guys looked really effing cool. No, so Obari. <laughs> here's the thing. This episode is famous yes. among Transformer yes. fans because when it came out, everybody was like, why does this look so much better than everything else? <laughs> Like why does like Call of the Primitives is one of the most like well loved stand out like even when we were growing when me and my brother were like this episode is like the greatest looking episode ever like out of all of, and we don't even like season three because that was the post movie storyline and mm. it was but this is still one of the best episodes because we sat here and watched this episode like pausing and on slow mo mm -hmm. like because it looked on VHS so, so every other frame is <laughs> no not only on VHS <laughs> but on our recorded VHS oh, yeah. on slow speed yes so it wasn't good quality oh yeah. But this was definitely, that's why as soon as I saw this picture, I was like, no, I know exactly where this is from because mm -hmm. this episode was so famous. Yes. This episode was so famous. Well, uh, And Video Dragon, you are correct. That is definitely an Obari pose. And I'm actually going to go into a term that they use for Obari poses in a little bit. So anyways, James, if you You know, can, we should have gotten you glasses and a lab coat. I, <laughs> I was looking for, I don't know where the damn lab coat is. Like, I think it's in my closet with, like, Android 21, but I have two uh, lab coats. I have I an Android say, like, 21. I think with one the, of them is still in my closet. Because like, then that might be Android 21. I, st I still remember the fact that the, the one of the things that stood out about the way he drew it is that the guns are always really long and very, very dramatic. thin and yeah. very... Because that was, like, one of the first times we had ever seen people drawn that way, and it was just so striking mm -hmm. that even afterwards, when me and my brother would draw Transformers, we would try to draw oh, them yeah. that way, you know? So, okay, going back to this, so yes, he did work on Transformers along with a bunch of other stuff. Unfortunately, back then, he wasn't credited or in the credits because they just figured, well, guess what? He's like 18, 19 years old right intern now status. working on this. <laughs> so he definitely got hit with the intern status. You're just kind of a kid, so you don't get full credits. Mm. But thank God that now we all know that this was him. I mean, again, he's such a talented artist. Anything he does, people can spot it out in different animations. It doesn't oh, matter. So anyways, going back to that, um, there's another thing that Obari was known for, which is called, which he would do. And I love seeing this in animes. It happens a lot in like Ranma and Inuyasha and stuff. I think it might happen if, I haven't watched it in a minute, but I think it does happen in one of like, I think it does happen in the Fatal Fury motion picture, but it's called Impact Frame Style. And it is when something comical happens and somebody gets hit and then there's just a random ass frame that shows up and if you catch it, you catch it. Mm -hmm. So that one in the middle, uh, Obari, the left. Um, yeah. Obari enjoyed doing this a lot. It's with the that monkey right there. Yeah, oh, I'm trying to get the yes. scroll from the Monkey. It's the one with Monkey. I don't know. 
why this I hate this program so much. It's okay, we all I do. need a better I need a better uh, image previewers. Yeah. Image so program. this anime was called Pass Down Yumi, which was like a magical girl series, but you can see frame by frame where it just random <laughs> ass Oh that shit. <laughs> Yes, if you, it has a name. We've been watching it for so long, and if you didn't know, it has a name, and it's called Impact Frame Style, which Obari loved using in animations that he worked on. So you obviously know that's a Gundam from Obari. For no reason. <laughs> no. The monkey getting kicked in the face, and on the frame like, of Impact, boom, hit it's just like a Gundam. giant robot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, okay, okay. I had forgotten about that guy. Yeah, and you see it a lot. It and like, doesn't you happen as much about, anymore. No, it doesn't, and it's sad. Bring it back, you guys, because this shit's great. Especially nowadays with so many random references you could do. Bring this back in animation, please. I beg you. I mean, you know who does do it? And it's kind of like unrelated but not? Who? It's Team Four Star. Ah, okay, yes. When, like whenever they do Solar Flare... <laughs> Every single solar flare is a different visual gag that's meant to bring pain upon the viewer. Yes. Really? Oh yeah, it's stuff like like one of them is like. Is that an ode to Pokemon? I don't know. Okay. But like one of one of their still images for solar flare is like cell in a bra and panties. <laughs> like they just do weird shit with it because they can. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, uh, going. Going back a little bit. Hold on, hold on. So he he's worked on so many animations from being an animator to a key animator to a director. I could go on forever. Two character designer also. Two character designer, which I'm going to get in. Like, he's done so much that we have all seen. It's really hard to, like, put it all in. So I just kind of grabbed ones that you guys would probably know and ones that, like, impacted me. You know what? I kind of respect that joke. The maximum Which, impact frame style. <laughs> ha! We can use that from now on. Use that during commentary. Anyways, I think I think I? a fighting game needs to incorporate it now. Yeah, you know, just when you hit someone with a super, you just see Gundam explosion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or just like Galactica Phantom from Ralph, and then on impact, it's like a mouse with a pico hammer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Should put that in Dragon Ball Fighter, sell in a bikini. Oh my god. Perfect. There you go. That's terrible. Solar flare. Okay, so let's, if you guys didn't know, I'm going to show you some of his Gundam, or mech, mm -hmm. mecha works. So let's go with, start with the first one. Just, just, just go down the line. Yeah, you could, you could just like go down the line to it since we... Lord, yeah. So he got to direct the third OVA episode, and this is from the beginning fight scene of that episode of um, Ixer, Ixer 1, and go on ahead and... I mean, because the entirety of Ixer 1, I think, is like a three-episode pilot series there's or something. There's a three-episode pilot, and then there's the movie. So he did work on it. So these are this is all the fight scene that Obari directed oh, I'm for just it. I'm really quick over here. This keeps flashing onto the screen. If we're doing that, we might as well get Blue Mary <laughs> face on there, right? So. Oh, yeah. Work. And what you can tell with um, Obari's mechs Perfect. that really stood out more from other people's is that his are very much more fluid instead of blocky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they tend and to look a little more organic. They look right. more organic because he, and he's actually said in interviews, when it comes to drawing his mechas, he will actually draw a human face first and then put the mecha over it. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like putting an armor on the body and that's how he comes up with his badass designs to look so, like, smooth and have a figure and, and be more fluid rather than the blocky Gundam style. You'd right. show the other ones from that scene. This one so, here? Yeah, those two to the right and then the first three left ones. Oh, yeah, some of these. Yeah, so, which he kind of, you know, took yeah, the liberties very... of redesigning as well, but they asked him to. They were like, yo, dude, go for it, because we love your style, so go yeah. on ahead and it's, it's make like, it nicer. It's barely robotic, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? When you look at this, it looks like almost human in an armor, you mm -hmm. know, kind of thing. But this is supposed to be mm -hmm. like a mecha, mecha mm -hmm. robot, mm -hmm. basically? Okay. We love giant robots. So, if you guys didn't know, um, you could go ahead and just click through all of those, Chicks minus the two that we already um, right. showed. And then I have another Transformer illustration right. that Obari did for you down there. But well, what's this one here? That's all the same fight scene. 
Oh, that's okay. all. That's all from it. Gotcha. You just wanted to show. Yeah. This one as well. So. Okay. Basically, yeah. those are all from Ixer One. So I want you guys to know what else he's worked on. Now, what is this from? Is this just an illustration? That's just one of his illustrations nice. from his art books. Okay. Um, Man, I just kind of want to watch Megas XLR. Before we get into the Fatal Fury uh, franchise that he did, I want you guys to know he also worked on Fist of the North Star. He worked on Saint Seiya episodes five and nine. He um, worked on um, Dan Gaio OVA. Which chat's been blowing up about during yes. this whole yeah. time. Episode. <laughs> and if you guys didn't know, he worked on Bubblegum Crisis, which is awesome. He did episodes five and six of Bubblegum Crisis. And um, he did my favorite project, Aiko, which is Cinderella Rhapsody, is what he worked on. And that's been like my favorite project, Aiko, since I was a kid. I love that one. I love the whole Aiko series, but Cinderella Rhapsody like just did it for me. Also, um, how to say you're old without saying you're old? Project Aiko. You can watch Project Aiko whenever. I mean, you we're always finding. <laughs> what's going on. Thanks, Cam. I appreciate it. I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. I'm. You know what? I'm surprised I squealed louder than you on Blue Mary's reveal. But anyway, um, he also did Tekaman Blade. Woo! He also worked on Magic Knight Ray Earth, and um, one of. Mike and my favorites was is Bastard, and then he worked on Dororo. Okay, he worked on the, episode the two Dororo. of the new Dororo, so that makes me super happy because I freaking love Dororo. I really, really do. Um, like I was telling you guys, yeah, you guys can keep like putting all his works in the chat because he's worked on so much stuff. Right. I'm not gonna spend all day mm -hmm. listing it all. Yeah, no, it's one of those things. Like last week, I made the joke about him being like borderline legendary. Turns out, no, he is absolutely fucking legendary. He is godlike. Like as long as you're paying enough attention to find out what he worked on. Yes. Because he actually like he's surprisingly quiet about he it. Like he, I, he's I, a I, humble Kamisama. <laughs> He's my humble comment somehow. Yeah, I feel like like there would be more things I would have been like obviously freaking aware of, and then I'm like, oh Jesus, you worked on that too, and I'm bringing out like this like scroll of ancient texts. Right. So by like the age of 21, he's already directing animations and shit. All right, that people just saw the Obari style and what he does, and they're like, hey, you're 21, cool. You want to direct some stuff? Besides being a key animator, you want to create things? Okay, let's go. You want to work on KOF? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Thank you. He, he definitely likes to do the the up view kind of thing on the mm -hmm. max, right? Oh, yeah. He's all about them angles. Yeah. He's all about them angles. And including including when it. he's allowed to parody himself. <laughs> Yeah. Which I, mean, actually, I hope we're going to get to later. I mean, even I will the, let you talk about that if okay. you want. I mean, even during the Fatal Fury stuff, every time you see them, you always see like Terry from the bottom. You know uh -huh. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, like this kind of uh, angle right here. So in 1993, he actually made his own studio, which this beautiful book I'm sure is named after because it's Studio G1, which I'm sure stands for Grade One, like his Twitter, which Olaf pointed out to me earlier which I think is amazing. So G1 Studios, he founded it in 1993, still super young, still awesome, still going on strong. Um, one really, really cool thing is that a few years later, he was brought to work in on the Fatal Fury franchise. <laughs> and, you know, he worked as key animator, you know, in the OVAs and stuff and character, character design, but, he was the director in the motion picture. Now, what I'm gonna gush about right now is how he um, just through his character design literally molded the Fatal Fury characters for me, including none other than the first cosplay I ever did, which he helped influence me to do, is my Shiranui. Because he literally made her like almost kind of same happy bubbly personality I had maximized when I was younger. Okay. <laughs> I've toned it down, especially on stream and stuff, but I was that happy bubbly girl who still would be doing martial arts and ninja stuff and Muay Thai class and still trying to kick your ass, but still being very happy about it. Just like my, so. And wearing pro provocative shirts. And wearing, yes, you know me so well. Just because you've known me forever doesn't mean. Hi. 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 Oh, hello. Anyways, 
But I have some of my favorite works. Can you see this on the screen? Yeah, I'm probably going to need to swap I mean, it's out this the camera. Right here, it right? is, and yeah. I would like you to click on that one. That's why I flipped to it. Right. So go to the other one. These are some of his beautiful works, which I cherish and love so much because he literally brings them to life for me. And I know there are people out there that actually don't like his character design, even in some... Um, you know, like Wikipedias and, and interviews and biographies I've read online about Obari. They love his mechs, but then they're like, he's done fan service. Oh, he makes the girls so pro provocative, provocative. Oh, the face features, you know, I don't like them. It's like, bro, no. He made those characters literally come to life because yeah. Mai's already happy and bouncy enough and he literally brought that to life. I love how Obari does clothing detail. I love how he does his shading. And most importantly, I absolutely love how he draws eyes. I would base my eyeliner as hard as I could practicing to do anime eyes with eyeliner back in the day, just so it looked like, you know, Lily or Mai or any of his other characters. Miss Papaya so, Apple, Miss Raspberry. Miss Mango, Miss Strawberry, yes. Miss Papaya. Oh, is this Battle Arena? Did he do yep. the character artwork for Battle he Arena? He sure Toshiden? did, and, I, oh. and it's in this book too. Dang. I was going to get okay. to that. Just show the Fatal Fury once right now. Sorry, I, I was okay. getting no instructions. So I, I, I know, my fault. I'm gushing. I'm sorry, I can't help it. I truly, really do love his art style and his character design. I really love how he does clothing and all. Yes, it be, it because Obari influenced so many animators in the 90s that there was this whole Obari style going on, especially with dynamic poses, which I was saying I was going to talk about earlier. Um, basically, it's just called the signature striking pose. And Obari, that's his thing. He does a signature striking pose. <gasps> and if you could go to that tweet in the other... Which one? The, um, go to the images that I sent you. That tweet I did last uh, oh, Did last you have it in week. another folder? Yeah, it's in a different folder. Didn't you save the... I did yeah. save all these things. Is okay, it? yeah, so one of the other folders. I'll keep showing you pictures. Uh, Do you do not a tweet one? There's I, not... You never sent me a tweet. I, picture. No, no, I, it was what I tweeted last week. There, it's oh, in the, okay, it's so in the okay, so it's in Obari three, I think, yes. is what that one oh. is. So it's good and check. Yeah, yeah, it's those two. Yes. Oh, these ones. Yeah. Oh, so okay, those okay. are gotcha, those gotcha. are part of the striking poses, his signature striking poses that he's so well known for. And I tweeted this last week because you know I love it, but basically and the conversation can, about Terry nipples and and the conversation about Terry nipples, which is fine because men have nipples, so it's not a big deal. <laughs> what was I mean? Is that the only reason why the, it's a meme? Because he drew him with nipples, and he wanted to talk about like I want to <laughs> be able to let men have nipples. Yes, <laughs> like that was literally like his tweet. I mean, that doesn't seem very controversial to me. <laughs> well, people want to make it so, but anyways. So that's not Terry. Yeah, and that's the uh, ending from the Galkaiser video game. And I'm not going to really talk about that game, video game, but I'm going to say they had really cool stages. They were beautifully Also, done. Obari's a voice of a character in the game, and so Obari whatever. And Obari voice, yes. Who was it that he voiced? I, I can't remember. remember. Anyways, Obari is a voice in the Galkaiser video game, which makes it even more awesome. So I just want people to be able to see the book a little bit yes. better. Yeah. Here, so. Um, going back to Obari and his character design and animation on Fatal Fury, the motion picture, and the OVAs, he is actually known for. I think this you is the best quote. Do you want me to help you hold this? Do you want to? Yeah, because like very I, gently. Yeah, because this way. Try not to get hand oils. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, Brighter, that was his name. Thank you. Really quick, really quick. Get, okay, get my... away from this, Jasmine. <laughs> yeah, no, Obari's influence has spread far and wide. Yes, it has. It's and kind of, like, crazy. One of my absolute favorite quotes that I read that he has said, and I will explain why, is, Breast bounces are explosive. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fair enough. Okay. Given his animation, that actually just makes sense. Now, we all know that Mai has her own um, bouncing breast pattern in the OAVs and the, Especially the, movie. And the motion picture. 
This is why. Because, yes, it is true what Obari says. Breast bounces are explosive. The reason why he says that is absolutely fascinating. Because he basically says animating breasts to bounce is the same timing as animating an explosion. And he basically... <laughs> He basically bases it off of that because My it's God, pretty much the same timing, whether it's an explosion of, of like fire and everything or, or a dust cloud explosion. It literally is the same type of physics and timing as boobs bouncing. I mean, the, it actually so makes sense. You, like, you think about like all his missile launches and stuff from yes. like Gundams and everything. Then you yes. think about a movie. Well, now, no, yes. now no wonder we, we, we have to get Boba after this because it's literally <laughs> bursting breasts, right? I mean... There you go. That's, that's... This is why we have our booba traditions. Yes. It's amazing. Uh -huh. So, um, once again, that beautiful quote from him, and I want everybody to quote this if you can at one point in your life, is breast bounces are explosive. Kaboom. I love it. I love it. So, thank you, Obari. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, going on to more Obari goodness as Booby he... Bob. Booby. <laughs> A booby bomb. Booby bomb. Oh, that sounds fun. <laughs> Damn it. I love and hate us at the same time. Anyways. <laughs> Questions for later. What else do we go over? I went over his striking poses. Yes. If you want, you can show the uh, Gaokaiser stuff next. Okay. Where is that? Uh, you can just keep flipping through because he also worked on one of the Samurai Showdown animated okay, go movies. Ahead and hold this. He also worked on one of the Samurai Showdown animated movies, and the, uh, the, you know, orig the original one with that's based on Samurai Showdown one. Yes. Oh, and I got to show you something. Okay, so. Yo, here... good call. Which one? Is that why your cosplay name is Kitty Kaboom? One of them, yes. <laughs> it is now. One of them, yes. <laughs> so. This is all of his mech stuff that I'm going through, but I he also worked on um, Gundam Seed and uh, Code Geass and Iron Blooded Orphans. But I squealed when I bought this book and I opened up this page to see my two boys from Gundam Wing in there. Like, oh my god, I am such a Gundam Wing fan. I really am. <laughs> all of the Gundams I have built, all the Gunplas I have built, are just basically all Gundam Wing and Endless Waltz. I'm, I'm a huge sucker for Death Scythe Hell Custom. That's actually a, a cosplay I want to build one day. Well, and, and also, in all fairness, during that era, I think those are the only ones I could ever find. Like, I mean, it I didn't. Was so I didn't ever, hard for me to find. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't ever build Gundams, but like the few times I actually saw Gundam model kits in that era, I could only ever find Gundam wings. Do you want me to put those back on this camera over here? Or? Um, no, this is fine because. Okay. Yeah. Like more I said, a little preview kind of thing. This is more of a preview for you guys. I'm telling you, Obari is a god. He is animation kame sama. This is another reason I like this cosplay uh, or this book because there's cosplay in it. First of all, thank you, Obari, and shout outs for not only just making this an illustration book and half of it is illustrations and half is just like talking and sketches and stuff I can't read in Japanese. You straight made the entire thing about all of your beautiful works. You threw cosplayers into it. And then you took some badass rock stars pic pictures of yourself and put them in the back. <laughs> and then on top of this, we're going to get to this. Since we're on a Fatal Fury right now, I love Obari for also... You guys, these are some of the My Resin Garage kits. Oh, yeah. That I've been wanting so mm. bad as a kid. And you have no idea how hard they were to find then. And now they've gone up in price. How long and have you had this book for now? A while. Since 99? Okay. 2000? Okay. Gotcha. I think it was 2000. I think it was like Kinokuniya 2000. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because I was always in Little Tokyo. You know, I grew up in Little Tokyo in Chinatown in L.A. So, thanks, Dad. But, yeah. <laughs> um, anyways, these three different My um, Garage those kits. Over the camera, Here, James, actually. show it to the, the, the camera. Mm -hmm. If you guys get your hands on those at a good deal, grab me one, too, and I'll pay you back. Because <laughs> yeah. even though good I suck at Garage kits, 
I will still try my hardest and probably blow like four hundred dollars in paint just to try and make my look like this in I the mean, illustration. Honestly, book. probably better off getting a reproduction of it first, at least to practice on. Just something. I mean, I just want. Because the thing is, so for I those of you, I have cheeky to practice on. For those of you who don't know, garage kits come in two two types. The original run, which are like only available at like Wonder Festival mm -hmm. and shit like that, and then the reproductions that people make off of those kits right. afterwards. Mm -hmm. Okay, and James, look at this badass like J Rock freaking rock star right here. Show, show <laughs> everyone Obari Prime right here. Obari there. Prime. <laughs> yes, I thought that would be fitting. I mean, it looks like he could almost play Chris himself, you know. Now like. you know. Now you guys know where the Chris fashion came from, all right? Like, I wouldn't put it past SNK to be like, that's a good style. Like, he's literally wearing Chris's outfit. He's even got, like, the little, like, the, the bondage line yes, in the front, too. Yes, and this is, like, this what came out in 98, he <laughs> 98, Lebon. So, I mean, that's, that's, he, he was so ahead of his time with his animation and everything. And I really... I really feel like Obari's style of face and body animation should make a comeback because that's the kind of style that people want now. And I'm telling you, I would just, I cannot wait for SNK to work with Obari, whatever the animation is going to be, because I know it's going to be amazing. And I just want to go back to seeing those gorgeous eyes he does, the sharp angled faces and structures, his beautiful shading that joe higashi that joe higashi <laughs> movie joe is best joe shout outs <laughs> also for obari making terry bogard look just as hot with his hat off as it is on all right because the way they style the bangs when the hat's off and everything especially with my her hair up her hair down her hair twisted up in cute little buns you know or a towel while she's soaking in the tub mad at andy like seriously Hair is flawless in all of these. Oh, little Nathan being so, so goddamn precious. I know, he's I being know. really, really he's cute. It's hard tooth. not to pay attention to him. And tooth. if you guys want to see the struggle of 80s and 90s cosplay, let me show you those pages, too. Here we go. James is already giggling. Now, to be fair, you could have a pound of makeup on your face in the late 90s, early 2000s in a cosplay, and none of that shit would show on camera. Mm. You guys have no idea the oh, effing that's right. struggle. The camera the quality. fucking struggle of camera quality. I would have flawless blended eyeshadow and face makeup and everything to go with the character. And you just look like... Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> when you see <laughs> pictures good sound of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, but this is like old school, you know, 90s cosplay. We've Early, come a long way, baby. Well, first of all, remember, this is when they were still calling it costume play, so that should tell you something right there. All right, right. so there we go. He also worked on the virus anime, so you're going to see this This is what didn't, that girl well, I mean, is dressed up didn't as. We, we, so. uh, we sent over that picture. We did, but so. I'm just letting everyone know. But yeah, this was the, the struggle, you know, you had, you hardly could see details or anything when it came to your face and And it's just, people, I gotta imagine the techniques and, and stuff using war blood and all this stuff yeah. like that. And probably. back then, back then people didn't wear wigs. People only felt like making their outfits out of pleather or um, taffeta or just you know, the worst shiny, always gonna tear material. I don't know who started that trend, but I hated it, so I always used so you can It's so you can reproduce the anime shine. No, that's... It, doesn't, it didn't always work, no, but that was the idea. No, it didn't work, okay? That's the idea. That's for sheets and pillows, but yeah, not for cosplay. But yeah, it was either pleather or you use that stuff, but this book is amazing. Um, not only is it, you know, step back into nostalgia, but basically, you know, history of Obari and just how animation and Obari himself has paved the way and inspired so many to make animation happen. And this is again, like you guys were saying in the chat, why you know, you watch uh, Magic Knight Ray or if you watch Saber Marionettes, you watch any kind of anime style like that, it's jump, it's just the same in. as, you know, yeah. people being inspired by Obari. And one thing that I will let you guys know is that Obari had the chance to work on Evangelion the original Evangelion. 
because his buddy, who is the director of Evangelion, they both worked on the Fatal Fury movie. Unfortunately, unfortunately, he had to decline because he was too busy with other projects that they were doing through his studio. So even though he got invited to work on Evangelion Animation, he wasn't part of it. But just the fact that him and the director from Ava both worked on the motion picture, later on he was invited to do that as well. So, I mean, Obari just... <laughs> <laughs> this is one of my favorite um, illustrations. I love this photo. It is so effing that, cute. That tiny Terry is amazing. I'm oh, telling the, you. The little tooth. His uh -huh. eyes. You know, tooth. His eyes are so magical. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Even in Battle Arena, everybody has the same kind of eyes and the little snaggle tooths, and I just freaking adore it. Uh, thank you so much, Obara. You've inspired me so much throughout my life from cosplay to animation. Just and your huge inspiration. Didn't thank just you. something happen on social media, too? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say it in case you were leading up to it at some point in time or anything. I just... Arigato gozaimasu. Chou arigato gozaimasu, Bobari-san. I'm trying not to cry. I'm getting all squishy. We need Boba stat. Stat! I need breast explosive Boba. Explosive breast. I really, yeah. really do. I'm getting so overwhelmed. Like I told you guys, I oh, can yeah. talk about the actual, Obari forever. The actual original design yes, sketches here are for the, design the Fatal sketches Fury OVAs. Too, and they're gotcha. just so nice. So that one's actually for the one we just watched today, the second right. one with yes. Krauser. Including Drunk Terry at the bottom. And I don't know who wants to I don't know who wants to do it with me, but we really got to get the trend of um, wearing pants with one leg cut off. Dude, I was watching just that like house, Tony just like, oh, in the OVA. I no, like, I want it back. Happening? It's gotta happen. What is happening? Can we play blitz so, ball? Yes. Oh, why okay. not? Let's play blitz ball. I mean, fe uh, bring up fem, the first picture again. Fem Billy. Let's just make me feel better. Fem Billy. Thanks. Hello mm -hmm. from KOF All Stars. They that, put it on Billy. That picture just makes me feel better. Yes. Because I like the Obari Mary. Obari Mary is badass. Also, just so you, if you look, look at down at the bottom left, you actually can see Obari's signature, so you have a good yes. idea what it actually yeah, looks yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, if you guys were wondering what his signature looks, looks like, it does a big rectangle. Bari with a box around yes, it. Yes, yeah. the O is the box, and then Bari is in the gotcha, inside. Gotcha. And that's how you know it's Obari and it's real, because that's what his signature looks like. And I pray to God one day when we go back to Japan, I don't know, maybe when we go visit SNK in Osaka, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe when I treat everyone to dinner, I don't know, but I would really like my book autographed. <laughs> <laughs> so I could just hold it and cry every night and sing Oh Angel and just be happy. <laughs> Why am I getting choked up over nothing? <clears throat> I need so what's left. this? What's the deal with this one here? That is Dororo. That is the episode that Obari worked on. Okay. <sighs> My heart. That series is so freaking God, good. If you guys haven't watched Dororo, please do. Emphasis on the please. Yeah, I like the because pop, it's by the way. such a damn <laughs> good series. I wish they would have done more, well, but you know what? They kept it short and sweet. I'm not and surprised. It's but yeah, I mean, so Obari also has a lot to do with Super Robot Wars, mm -hmm. partly just kind of by proxy because, like, hey, we're incorporating all yes. these things that. But um, I didn't want to talk so much on. about all his mecha works because we're trying to talk about Fatal yeah. Fury and but all I of that. I was just going to piggyback stuff. because that's where chat went. I know that's where chat went, but I'm letting you guys know in chat. He's yeah. done so many awesome mecha animes and robot <laughs> designs that, yeah. Yeah, I could go on forever about Obari. I don't uh, know, maybe oh yeah, we'll we do an Obari or you, did you go? Th did you go through those? Or did I you just... went through all of them. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I yes. showed them at one point, but I yeah. yeah, I know you just like, skimmed a lot of it real quick. This yeah. one is just the, well, that one, and then Robert. Yeah. Yeah, I love like, that. If Robert. I had if I had done art of fighting, because yeah, that's what they yeah. say. He's never Don't actually shown up. Don't you wish he did the art of fighting one now that you see this Robert? Like, look at that. Yeah, yeah. but at least yeah. we got the Toshinden one. Yeah, as yes, we mentioned, at least he's he got. Did yeah. do he, so did he design the characters for Battle Arena Toshinden? I don't think he did the like character designs. I think he did no. like the anime versions. Oh, yes. okay. But and, I, I could be wrong. I haven't looked at original Toshinden in so goddamn long. And honestly, nowadays but, he's kind of stepped down from doing character design, which makes me very sad. 
I want him to do character design, especially for whatever he's doing with SNK right now. I hope he is character designing as well as directing, because I just love it. Yeah, I um, I just worship it. I love it. So I'm, I'm like thinking about. I think he might have actually done the overall character design for Toshin, and I really just can't remember. Did you show them Kyo and Benny Maru? Did you show them these? Uh, I don't think so. I don't okay, think I got a so chance to show them. So if you guys want to see, so. Sam Shill and Kyo and Benny. Here, I can show them on the other camera over Passing here. Passing it over. Mm. There we go. Oh, a second. Let me do something. Cat sees me moving. She thinks it's that means it's time. It's not time, time, Jasmine. Almost time. This one. Nope, not this not one. Not that one. one. Do this one. There, there we go. So okay. this kind of gives us also a little bit of an idea what we might be yes. in store for. This this might lead to the future and what we're hoping to see right now with what he's doing with SNK. If it's going to be signature Obari greatness, I would hope that he oh, would yeah. go back to this. I really, really, really do. There you go. So like I said, you guys, get the book. I had to, I bought so many illustration books um, early on. That's why I have this. I have a lot of the early, like, Capcom 1 and SNK ones. But, I mean, again, I was just so inspired to draw. And Obari was one of those artists that I really love. Besides um, O oh Great and besides uh, Kurohime, that's, like, pretty much it. Like, for the ones like truly, truly, truly cherish. And of course, Kiki, um, Kit, who draws for uh, Capcom, he's done the CFN, all the illustrations. He's another one of my like beloved favorite too. But Obari has just been up there for me for so many years and has inspired me, like I told you guys before, with all those different aspects I, of life. Like, I just can't imagine. I gotta wonder how Obari feels like I get to draw Terry and Andy and Mai again. Like, I wonder if that's just like for him emotional I, as well. I would hope so. I'm really looking forward. Um, hopefully, SNK puts out I don't know maybe some video clips or some small interviews while he's going through yeah. this process. Or I mean, maybe we get a sweet like making of when the game comes out. Oh God, that would be mm -hmm. so great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd I mean, be awesome. Not if they to mention, did a oh my God, the, if they if they do like the the SNK setting animation. the setting works and concept art. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, you know what that means? We need a friend to go to uh, Comic Cat. Can or we Wonder just Festival. go to Comic Cat? Okay, or here's the thing. Wonder I don't Festival know what it's going to be. Yeah. Damn it! Because they they might actually sell the uh, production setting sets at one of those for oh my God. the Obari. Yeah, oh my God. that'd be cool. Yeah. Japan, when can we come back? <laughs> right. That's what we've all been asking. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is for the stream. It's not a leisure vacation. This is work, okay? We do synchronize. We need to be there for S and K things. Leisure is a pleasure. Okay? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I mean, I was always there for Evo Japan, yeah. and I definitely was doing all sorts of things without it. So, I mean, I was trying to do everything else like this. This will solely be a synchronized business trip, yeah. okay? Maybe get an interview with Obari. Yeah. But meanwhile, I'm sitting here blowing like hundreds of dollars on Zen Market because I'm not allowed to go. Mm. We're not allowed to get nice things yet. So. It's so funny because I remember you hadn't been to Japan, and I was like warning you that if you go to Japan, you're going to like lose all your money and even after you come back it's still happening <laughs> hey it's not my fault that i got to go into surigaya while i was yeah. there all right <laughs> surigaya is life oh man it's kind of what we already did already it's just we're not paying that convention third party dealers well, and not price. to mention like yahoo japan auctions where like i can actually hunt things down find them and buy them from all around japan yes without living there Yes. Because, yeah. like, if you're just going on a vacation, you can't just order something online. No, and that has really came in handy. And again, like I say, i I rather us go through Yahoo Japan auctions and Zen Market, especially for getting all the SNK merch that we've been getting. Oh. Because, A, we're not allowed back yet, and B, it's not anime convention dealer hall prices. Right. Yeah, we're, getting, we're, we're paying for shipping, not paying for us to be price gouged. 
Exactly. On top um, of everything else you get charged hotel. for being at a con. Um, also, whenever you get to make your Japan trip, you won't blow it on ramen because you'll be eating you everything else too. You like, think you want to go to Japan and eat ramen? You don't. There's so no, much more I mean, amazing knock food. it out, sure, but eat other things <laughs> as well. You're not just going to be Naruto-ing, okay? You're not just going to be running around like a little weeaboo go, saying, go Believe eat, it, I'm going to eat ramen every go, day! Go, go eat not, all the ramen. Go, no, eat so other good. things, too. That's all I'm saying is, too. If you have ever not wanted to blow hundreds of dollars on sashimi and sushi, like top grade Toro, Otoro, Chutoro, like myself... Sushi's fucking ridiculous. It is perfect. Sushi is dirt cheap in Japan it, it and is like better than everything you've tasted. Yeah. It is heavenly and dirt cheap. Yes. Like, what the hell? You're going to want that. I mean, I'm You're not gonna even a, I'm not a big, like, I'm not a big sushi person, but, I mean, I mean, we went to a restaurant and had sushi one time, and it's good, but the time that we were in Fukuoka and mm-hmm. had that sushi, that was, like, transcendent sushi. Yeah. Like, it was... He literally grabbed the fish out of the ocean and sliced it yeah, for you. Yeah, but you're watching him yes, it's amazing. chop the fish right yes. there. And, like, honestly, like, it was one of those things that when you ate that fish, it felt like it was refreshing. You know what I mean? It was yep. really... Dude, right? There's no reason for the airport sushi to be that good. <laughs> oh, trust me. It was my last meal. I blew like $100, and that was the equivalent of eating like $500 worth of sushi here in California. Mm-hmm. No. The- yeah, and that was the second best sushi we had while we were there, because yes. we only made two stops. And it was at the airport. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Oh, my God. Yeah. I, I should bring up pictures right now of it. Like, I, I, will, I just have to. I'm going to stick up for it. When I went to Kikambo, their ramen there was the most amazing thing. Yeah, and but then that one Sukumen ramen that Gerald recommended. Yeah, I still need to try that. Yeah, oh. we haven't tried that one yet. So. But, I mean, again, like, because that was the thing. When we went, we missed out on ramen because we were eating right, everything yeah. else. And we like, actually told ourselves, look, this is our first trip. Let's try to eat everything else besides ramen. And I don't want ramen fucked up for us when we come back to the States <laughs> and we're eating peasant ramen. Yeah, and, and you don't even you know, like ramen as much I as I do. Even, no, the only reason I eat ramen is because this guy always mm-hmm. wanted to eat ramen. Now, thank God, he's eating more things other than ramen from Japanese well, cuisine. Well, when but... I'm stuck in fucking Texas, what do you expect? <laughs> I come home, I'm going to want ramen and in and out All right? <laughs> As a person who grew He's up, as a person who grew up on soup noodles, like ramen is life for me. So yes, I mean, and we all grew up eating. You're cup still the guy who gives me dirty looks when I eat brown rice. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, we okay, both, both of you do. Yeah, and brown Corey. rice, brown rice is fucking delicious. I don't care what you're saying. Not as much as white rice, dude. Hard disagree, but again, I'm not saying you're wrong. <laughs> all right, like why is this? Not right, only no. that. Like, you look at me like I'm a bad person. I look at you like you have your own opinion. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> About brown rice and white rice? Oh, no. Because when you're you in Japan, ramen. you're not only going to want to eat ramen, okay? You're going to want to eat curry. You're going to want to have horse. Like Yamazaki, okay? Dude, fucking horse You go to Gyukaku so and you get that damn horse. At least try it once in your life. You right? eat that you horse. You eat that horse. <laughs> you listen to me and I hope. My you voice eat that horse. is in your mind saying, you eat that horse, and you do, and it's going to be amazing. All you're going to do is hear a kitty going horse yelling at you uh-huh. to eat horse. Dude, right? dude, the ho- horse. dude, that raw horse was so fucking delicious. Oh, the oh, horse my sashimi, God. the horse tatar with a raw egg on top. Yeah, oh, out of my control. God, so... um, all the izakayas, fucking delicious. Yes. Uh, and then we talk about it way too often, but Wendy's in Japan has no fucking right to be <laughs> that good. I miss Wendy's first kitchen <laughs> So much. I would rather eat Japanese Wendy's than like most fine dining in the states. Rapunki burger. I mean, again, that, that's just the power of Japan. It's like any place. That you soup choose. in a bread bowl, though. <laughs> F you, Panera. If Panera ever knew that oh. Wendy's bread bowl soups are so much better than anything else you've had. Oh my okay, god. I don't have an opinion on that one. I don't really eat octopus. I rarely eat takoyaki and that's the only time I eat the octopus. The grilled octopus was amazing but I always got the taco uh, wasa. I, I love the wasabi taco. and uh, You're welcome. The taco, yes. <laughs> The taco sashimi I mean, was amazing. That's just kind of in general a best way to describe Japan in general. Beefcake uh, man throb. I just have to say that's a majestic thing. fucking yeah, name. Uh, it definitely <laughs> brings brings up shades of guar. Yeah, I mean, like, because the thing about it is, like, their pastries are sweet, but not that sweet. 
yes. their salty stuff is salty, but not that salt. And it's like it's more about the MSG. It's about yes. more of the umami, right? Mm -hmm. And that's um, the thing. Manthrop, did you happen to get the hot um, lattes or the bobas from Wendy's First Kitchen? Because that was the first ever hot Dude, boba latte I had. That Holy fondue shit! Fondue pasta. Dude, I can't even, oh I man, the pasta in Japan. Like, Jesus, is Corey even at still Wendy's. In the Dude, I don't know. Probably no, not. he's probably been gone for like, a while. Because like Corey, I, myself, and one other person, like we were just wandering Japan, and we ended up at a chicken broth ramen place after Ooh. passing up all these different places. We're like. You know what? We never get to try chicken broth ramen, and I ate that. And the problem with it is, is that I have no idea where it is ever. Mm -hmm. I will never find this restaurant again, and it bothers me. Because, Was that during the Fukuoka trip? Uh, no, it, we were in Tokyo area. Uh, mm. But the thing is, we were wandering everywhere. We passed by at least like. Because it was one of those things, like, you pass by a restaurant, you're like, you want to try this? You're scared something might be better later on. And so we just kept wandering. But, you know, that's, the fact that's that that's, that's the problem right. uh -huh. is that I don't want to eat here in case I find something better later. Well, right. here it's the opposite. It's like, I mean, I guess I could settle for this because who knows that the next thing's worse. Right. I just and, kept and, eating. And we I and we went in, in that chicken ramen place. Like it makes me mad because I want to take David there so badly because he could finally eat ramen. You know what I mean? Because That's he can't true. he yes. can't eat pork broth ramen. You know what I mean? So I love that one. Yes. Went to Japan many many years ago. Had some miso soup that looked like mud. And I believe it is one of the meat. best things I've ever eaten <laughs> to this day. I believe you. I one hundred percent yeah. believe you. Mm -hmm. It's it's a it's it's a. Yeah. yeah, again, no, like I, I said. I definitely went out of my way to memorize uh, where the locations were at a couple of yeah. places. Like, I want to go back to that izakaya. Yeah. Oh, I know you I, do. You know, I know, but it just made me feel happy, and I liked it. Yes, it's your placebo. You only want to go back for the sauce. I'm only going to go back because they have hearts. one of my top sakes for dirt cheap. Yeah, that too. <laughs> and they just practically just left the bottle there after, you know, seeing us every day, every other day. We so. only went there like three times. That was enough for them to know us. We kind of stuck out like sore thumbs. Yeah, you get like white and brown people showing up. Yeah. With different color hair. They're like, ah, oh, they came back. Hey, the foreigners came back oh, again. They really oh, they like did us. like it. Oh, shit. This is their third time. All right. Give them some soggy on the house. Give them the extra stuff. You know, they're cool. They're cool. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I know times. we spend a lot of time gushing about Japan, but it's it really is. There's a, a reason it's, why it's a fun. It's a great experience. It there really, is, really it's is. A he and it's not as expensive as you think. The food is a lot cheaper. So whenever people say it's expensive to live in Japan, it's mostly the housing, and it's mostly just because you're taking the the train mm -hmm. everywhere, and, and so you're, it's it's a daily expense that we yeah. It's like yeah, daily so, transportation. But here's the thing: is that what I learned is uh -huh. that people who think that it's expensive to live in Japan. Have never lived in LA. That's oh, true. Because that's I true, actually, true, yeah. I actually like for for giggles. I was like, you know, let me check the housing rates in Tokyo. I know we and were laughing like, that we could move there, no problem. Yeah. right now. Like with yeah, my current just, finances, I literally could just yeah. move there with be no, nowhere for where. Proud soul. What I always tell everybody is, wherever you stay, find the nearest Seven Eleven or Famima or whatever it is. That is what you call home base, because Seven Eleven is the most important though, because they also have the. Uh, the, the ATM where you can pull from cash, uh, cash yes. from uh, with your regular American bank accounts. But 7-Eleven, again, is not your 7-Eleven in America. Like, but you walk in I, there. We were is... eating breakfast every morning and getting snacks throughout all of our mm -hmm. adventures we at our 7-Eleven. We I happy. miss our 7-Eleven because it was 10, 20 feet away from yep. where we mm -hmm. had our Airbnb. Well, and that's the reason why I say yes, find it, because there yes. is going to be one 20 there, feet away yes. from there, you. There are more oh, convenience God, yes. stores than there are Starbucks out here. Yeah. Yes. And and like it's, and, and the thing is, I remember one time David, after Eva, was like, I'm hungry, but everything's closed. Go to 7 -11. I'm just going to go to 7 and buy this ramen thing. They heat it up there for you, and he's like, it was some of the best ramen he's ever had. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the breakfast sandwiches at 7-Eleven put McDonald's to freaking shame. Yeah. The well, pizza, the I mean, pizza McDonald's mon. Pizza is, mon is my oh, yeah. favorite the, the mon. Buns, Holy shit. The meat buns oh, are my life. God. It's literally like cartoons. You go grab just a simple pizza mon for like a dollar and you open it up and you I can literally stretch it across this desk she did. with fresh <laughs> mozzarella. I have a video of it that I put yeah, up it was on like, Twitter. It, it literally it got amazing. to like three feet before it broke. Yes. 
This is how delicious and fresh the food is. The fact that I had hot and cold Rainbow Boss at my effing fingertips. And you can theoretically do all this and win an anime figure in a Kuji in one trip. Which we would do all the time! And then you you were talking about the hot and cold Boss coffee, right? They're in freaking vending machines just sitting there. The vending machines have hot and cold drinks in them. The best soup ever is the corn soup The corn soup is amazing. I love love the red bean soup. Yeah, and the crazy thing about it, it's not even expensive. You guys, I'm effing hungry. And Mm. when you go... And also, don't forget, one thing I want to mention, though, if you do go to Japan, make sure you get yourself one of these things. Yes. Train something pass. similar Train to this. passes are great. This is called the Suica card, basically. This um, you can use for uh, train passes, but also um, this thing here can be used a lot of times on those vending machines that you find And everywhere. arcade machines. And I used it on the 10 yen ST machine, yeah. I mm-hmm. use it for the 10 yen ST machine. Yeah, I, I probably went through at least $50 on crane games on my train pass. Yeah, exactly. So you'll get one of these at the airport. You go there, and even if you leave, like, I still have if, mine because I want to go back. Uh, ours are still but, loaded. You can actually go back, return the card, and get back all the money that you spent for the card. Mm-hmm. Oh, and They'll then actually give it back. One more thing is that they also have like uh, coin star machines where you can just dump all your spare change and then convert it onto your card. Yes, mm-hmm. which, which was is, amazing. Which is kind of slick. Also, seriously, like we probably should wrap this up. Maybe once you know more travel restrictions lift, we'll revisit this topic. Yeah. But if anyone there. In the chat, actually has questions about this sort of thing. You can hit any of us up anytime, yeah. and you know we can give you like pointers, but like before your trip. Not only Because if that. you're allowed to travel and we're not, like more power to you. Yes, and not <laughs> only that. Let me tell you why are ATMs so cheerful and pleasant? Because I was they're not American. So, I was so happy that it was I was pulling out money and like taking out money, and then on top of that, with these train passes, one of the things that I love the most about them is that. You actually have oh, all yeah. these cool accessory badge Thank holders you. to like put your train pass in. So you're an anime fan, you're gonna have an awesome time finding like any character you want that's a train pass for you. That, Especially the retractable ones, those are the best ones. That is the image we're closing this out on. I'm telling yes. you though, I am OCD because it is a tilted image. The scan <laughs> is tilted and it like... It, well, it's also supposed to have a second page as well. Right. But the, the second page is literally Mary's arm. Right. Mm. So. Oh, okay, okay. That's fair. Yeah, it's supposed to be a two-page spread, but... Yeah. There you yeah, go. okay. I think it's time to put things in our tummies. Yes, I am right, hungry now. Because we're all talking about food. Let's go eat. Well, we're um, talking about Japanese food in yeah. Japan. And we, now we're just like leaving the chat in the hungry. dust now. Because we're just like, yeah, yeah. food, this, food, food, so food. Sorry, this, this, this is, is like my, the third time we've done this. This is my problem with when I was in college and I used to always watch Iron Chef. Oh, geez. And then I would yes. go and get Jack in the Box, you know. Or Del Taco yeah, or something like that. Yeah, just like, come on. What song should I end this on here? <sighs> What's your favorite Blue Mary theme? Oh, that's... I'm not going to do my favorite. Which I'm surprised. Ooh, but... Which one? Just pick you know one. what? Just pick one. Pick let's let's pick do one, the uh, one, arranged one. version of Kiss Me. <laughs> I'm going to do my favorite one. Good. Good. Uh, Good. This? Yeah. Blue Mary's back. I do love the agents team from Eleven, but we you saw have to jump some a bit. awesome Obari artwork. Talked a bunch about awesome Obari. Can't wait for the whatever SNK animations we get with Obari. There we and go. now we're gonna go eat some delicious Japanese food and get some boba. Yeah, it was, so it's another good night. Thank you guys. Thank you, you guys, for dealing with me gushing over <laughs> Obari. I hope you found some of what I said interesting. But also real talk, I'm just saying the best thing they did with Mary in 14 was make this her theme. Mm. Oh, that one would have been cute. There you go. That's a cute. There you go, that's better. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. We all right. appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. I hope you all have a good evening and eat something yummy. And we will <laughs> see you next week. <laughs> For Whatever they plan to do. <laughs> Bloody right. Uh, bye bye. Oh, Jasmine's so ready for her food. They're like, where's my dinner, Dad? As soon as they hear music over the stage, they're like, oh, okay, that's food time. So. Good night.
Good night. Look at her angry little face right now.